access granted. Well, happy Wednesday to all of you. How you doing? Are you well? I'm well. It's Wednesday. And we're on time, basically. Okay, I did run the uh, starting soon screen for like 10 minutes. I was getting myself sorted. But here we are. That's what matters. Uh, I hope everybody's well. Uh, stranger. What are you buying? What are you selling? Uh, <laughs> I'm... Uh, how you doing, Red Mage? Are you well, sir? I um I'm um I'm interested to how to see how the merchant will be portrayed in Resident Evil 4 remake. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he's gonna be great. Um God, it looks real looks real good. Um You are, Ryan. You are good. Uh or um we we are uh, excited to Check, uh, wait to see the uh, the stranger. Um, the, yeah, he doesn't have a name, does he? He's just he's just the the merchant. Um, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, buddy. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, God, I I think I was catching up on my sleep from the night before. I felt like I slept a lot. Um, no, too much has gone on, but yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Always uh, always a pleasure. Sorry. It's, it's weird whenever I'm streaming a PC game because um, chat's in a different place when we get going. I tell you what it is my uh my the boom for my um microphone is directly behind where the the laptop has to be. So without like, and there's not enough room on the desk to have the laptop any further forward without just getting in the way. So I'm like more limited on where the microphone can go. It's exactly where it needs to be. That's not a problem, but. It's not as a free range as when we're console streaming. Um, uh, yeah, we're on time, Ryan. We're on time, buddy. Basically, I, you know, I, we went live on at the top of the hour, so that's on time, isn't it? Um, let me have a look here. Interesting. So I don't know if it's just me. It's just me. I have to keep an eye out on it. Um. So I yesterday I implemented the uh, a, a new bot or an old bot to me, but a new bot for the conflux just to make sure that uh, streaming auto roll was given to people, uh, and it seems to be working. Except it's not working for me, uh, and <laughs> I have no idea why that would uh, not be the case. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, this, uh, sorry, Fallen is uh, clicked on this video by accident. Um, the uh, all I can uh, assume, um, let me have a little look. Let me uh, see if I'll pull it up. I think I even uh, I think I've marked it. Um, maybe there's a setting in the bot that I didn't uh, sort out.
Um, I yeah, I don't see why it would. Uh, I'm seeing any issues there in the bot, but I'm not. Can we? No, okay. Um, <clears throat> it shouldn't make any difference. I can't see what it is. And this is it's so, something to do with the settings in Discord. Um, well, they, there you go, Red Mage. That's what you get for having ultra uber monitors. Yes, you get the benefit of that, but also uh, not not too good on the uh, space concerns, is it? Um, uh, breakfast burritos. Ryan, do you need um, do you need a lodger at all? Do you need a, you know, do you need a housemate? <laughs> uh, I just imagine that Mrs. Ryan will be like, who, "Who is this weirdo?" And Ryan's like, "It's his nib." And she'll be like, "What? <laughs> what is that?" <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. No clue whatsoever. Yeah, the auto roll in uh, in uh, Yank there is uh, that's just when people join the server. It's just uh, it's just like I say, it's just a bit frustrating that it's working, but it's just not it's not working for me. And I just wonder, I've not seen any of the council members with it. Well, that could be just because they've not been streaming. Let's have a look. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's above everything, so it should... Uh... It should not make any difference. Unless it's some kind of conflict. Maybe if I um maybe it's something to do with me bots still trying to like make it do its do its own thing. Let me just um I don't think it's gonna make any difference, but just uh let me just jump into me bot for a second and turn it off in there. God they're doing Oops an error occurred. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's like wow what I failed to retrieve the server data wow okay it's not happy it's like oh you're using a different bot aren't you let's see what the f if there's any what's going on There's an empty room in the house. Don't tempt me, Ryan. Um,
Oh, is it? Weird. Don't understand that. Uh, let me just see. Uh, I'll just go and run my eye over it quickly, guys. Just, I'm not going to spend too much time. Just see if anyone else is having this issue. Oh, here we go. Right, okay, cool. Here we go. Literally two minutes ago. Failed to retrieve server data. Yeah, it's not just ours. It's not just uh, me, and it's not just the conflux. Apparently, everyone is having the issue. Which, I mean, in a way, that's... I guess, it's, I guess it's good that it's not just us. Okay, I can't even check it. Anyway, maybe, maybe they were... Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. Go, <laughs> you get on that walk, uh, Red Mage. Who's he reckon a bit, buddy? Maybe, um... Maybe it's got there just in some serious maintenance on it or something's broken. Maybe they'll it'll fix the streaming role when it comes back. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, Ryan's like, what? No, it's second breakfast that's, and brunch. That's two different things. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, at least I know it's not just us. I was like, hang on, have I broken something? No. Not. Um... I don't know uh, what else is going on, uh, Ryan. What to what to address? Um, it's a war in Ukraine. That's about it on the news. Let's not dwell on that. Um, I think we should just get into uh, get into The Walking Dead and just uh, get a bit more progress. We um, we did um, one and a half episodes yesterday. Um, we're in, it, we seem to be in a potentially good but potentially dangerous situation. We so they were starving basically, we run out of all sorts of food. Um, thank you for this Mark guy. Seems like a cool guy, a good guy. And uh, he had a stash of food that's kept us going, but we were basically run out. However, we have just bumped into the St. Saint, Saint John family who own a dairy. And they've got plenty of food. Not only that, at their dairy, their house and, you know, the rest of it. Um, they, uh, they have an electrified fence around the farm. So if we, as a... As Mark said, if we play our cards right, maybe we can be like permanent alliance with these people. Uh, it seems to be their their mother and their two adult sons, Andy and Danny. I don't. Um, and they they seem perfectly reasonable, but you have to kind of assume you can't trust anyone or anything in in The Walking Dead. That's the only issue. Um. But the, the main issue at the minute seems to be the fact there are ra in the very near area there are random bandito types who are not related to St. John's apparently. Um, I don't think they are. There's that wouldn't really add up. Um, uh, who you know we we bumped across you know bumped into two of them. They didn't see us. We saw them, and they're just in a random argument, and one guy just yeeted the, his buddy just there and you're like whoa with no regard for ammo conservation he used four shotgun shells on his mate when he could just use one um so i think they're like a bit crazy so we want to stay away from them so it's, yeah so yes it's good to have a safe place to stay but if there's lunatics in the local area who are also hanging around maybe it's not safe i don't know and we're not gonna know until we uh get back into it so yes we're um yeah here we go I'll, I'll speak more when we get into it okay 
<clears throat> when uh, Steam gets itself together. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm going for controller today, aren't I? Right, and we want to jump over here. I don't know if a shortcut key marked out for that, but it's fine. Right, here we go. So I did not notice, I don't know if this is a version of the game. It's obviously been stapled together, pasted together by um a diff a, a, another company um, to make it into like one package. Now the issues I found with it was uh, it doesn't um, it, it the main thing is it leaves the random uh, reticule cursor on the screen during the cutscenes wherever you'd left it, which is not a problem if you, I happen to have it like in one of the bottom corners or something. But when it's like right in the center of the screen, it does look a, a bit jank, but. What are we going to do? I'm not really sure. Okay, here we go. I assume it will just load up our game. Yeah, there's no like chapter select or anything, I don't think. There we go. Play. Yeah, episode 2. I assume it's not starting us over. That would be insane. There we go. Oh, okay. Didn't do a proper auto save or anything. We've got to go through the cuts again. Yeah, we've already done this. Okay, this is slightly annoying. John, family day. Okay, we'll recap. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Um. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, Brenda. and there welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Um. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Um... Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! I don't know who they are, just random bread. Uh Dog's like... <laughs> Sorry. Don't waste this crumbs, dog. Like Jesus anymore. Christ. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick. not zombie cow. But she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers She's not a cow vet answered. though, is she? Maybe yeah. our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back yeah, here? Might want to take someone <laughs> with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to make this. a point of watching out for. Right. Um, See you later. The auto save icon. I assume it's down in the bottom right. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. 
This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um... Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defense. They'd have no reason to All right. I'll repair keep a, fence, uh, uh, a, a swing in these circumstances, would they? So what what difference does it make really? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck, and let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yep, by fixing the swing. I'm sure they would not care about that, but let's not worry about that, eh? Right, what do you reckon then, Mark? So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Okay, so it's rudimentary, but if it's getting the job done, I, th I feel like everything's rudimentary now, isn't it? I mean, the, pick the picket fence ain't, isn't going to do anything. Um. Pointy. <laughs> Pointy. <laughs> this is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Oh, this saw here. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Agreed. Okay, so... A generator. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Okay. Right, okay. So the fence they've made, good because it goes around the whole property. Um, maybe not so good because the generator is, the generator is very small. It's a bit finicky, apparently. And, they, and it runs on, uh, obviously, gasoline. And they've just run out, and they were lucky to meet us. Um, not to mention... It's outside, I don't know. I guess it's I guess a generator's waterproof. I don't know. It's making noise, which is not good, but I guess it's necessary evil. Um But uh one thing that kind of stands out to me is if you need to use your gasoline to keep it powered, surely it doesn't make sense to have it powered like constantly. It would, surely it'd be better to you know, conserve your gas and turn it off. And then, of course, your fence isn't working, but just keep an eye out. Keep a lookout. Oh, we've got some undead walk. You know, some walkers coming in. Turn on the generator. You know, but... Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Oh. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, 
We'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Okay. Um, he was a little bit uh quick to to get on that, wasn't he? I feel he was a little bit. Hey, where are you going? Don't go that way. If, that, if the barn is where the cow is, then obviously Katya is going to be getting in the there shortly. Good, anyway. But I need some rope. Okay. Out to the house. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. No. Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Oh, that sounds good. This rope is perfect for the swing. It's kind of weird that you should be like rooting around in their stuff. <laughs> so be it. Um, we go inside. Should we go inside? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. All right, Brenda. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Okay. Um. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Um, what happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our yeah. staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. Um, how many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Um, I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. Yeah. You know what I was asking, Brenda, you know what I mean? But, you know, you can't just impose. Poots! Poots, we uh, completed Stick of Truth yesterday. It was, uh, it was a blast. <laughs> I don't have Poots, you well. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hungry already. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? Oh, my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started. Hard. I won't move my face. It's I covering up it this. was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. Yeah, indeed. Well, if my... anything <laughs> comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. Okay. No problem. Yeah, no problem. She seems like a good lady. Um, yeah, I just noticed my face is uh, covering up the uh, some of the um, subtitles. Not much. Not much, but still. If uh, there was anybody who wanted to specifically see all the subtitles. So I think I'll just bump myself up there. That that works. I don't see that's a problem. I got my uh, light on properly. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm going to get brighter than that. You're doing well, are you, Pete? Excellent, sir. Um, have you ever played The Walking Dead? If you haven't, and you uh, possibly want to in the future, I suggest maybe ducking out or just doing a lot. I'm not trying to get rid of you, obviously. 
obviously you're, you're going to get very heavy spoilers if it was something you would be uh interested in um um you watching the vodabit excellent bless you bless your feet. i appreciate it um yeah we had a lot of i enjoyed it a lot um i'd kind of i'd mostly forgotten most things about it and we did miss a couple of things we never we didn't deal with a man bear pig i, I don't know what i how i cocked that up I, I just kind of missed something but overall it was uh, a very cool experience i enjoyed it greatly all right this shouldn't be too tough I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Mm. Okay, so I think I guess we just got to speak to Andy now. We checked the perimeter. I can't see any uh, the perimeter of the, that we're allowed to walk around at least. Uh, I can't see anything. So um, let's try and speak to Mike or speak to Andy. <coughs> um. Yeah. No worries. Uh. Yeah, my. <laughs> yeah, we were literally talking about this, Poots. How uh, they, how hard they rag on Canada, but all you know, all Canadians like you know, find it funny. Good sense of humour, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just go, goes eight bit. Ah, welcome to Canada, buddy. Uh, and it's just <laughs> Canada is just eight bit. <laughs> that's that's it. That's all it is. <laughs> um, yeah, hilarious. I uh, I loved it. Um generator might be a problem and he said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while still it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is i didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet i'll do that after helping andy get the perimeter secured the fence is no joke at least around the house i'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it i'll keep looking around all right keep me posted all right, Mark. There you go. Just give him, give him a little update there. So I guess we just got to speak to Andy now and be like, "Yay, hey, buddy. We all good? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> totally, totally poot. So they, they, and that's the, you know, uh, you Canadians have the temperament to, um, to, you know, to be able to, you know, if you, if you can't laugh at yourself as a as a, any kind of part of any group or as an individual then i feel like you've already failed at life and i feel like you know canadians uh, are very you know you're individuals of course but um you're good at doing that whereas maybe other people aren't as good at doing that they're like oh, you're making fun out of me and my people uh, not so and n nothing goes harder than south park in uh mocking canadians and it's uh it's perfect isn't it <laughs> you must have seen that episode i can't remember the, the full extent of the episode uh poops but um like uh canada canada has like the canadian government like has run out of money and they, they're like hey wait wait why don't I get some of that internet money and uh <laughs> and everyone else is like yeah okay well you know you gotta do something about it and they they don't seem to grasp that they don't understand what it is <laughs> or how to get it. They're just like, ah, oh, internet money. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, <laughs> oh, you remember, you remember it better than I do. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Because you secretly know you better. Of course. Of course. You don't have that insecurity, you know, like maybe potentially others have. Um, not that you should like, obviously group any uh, nationality or, you know, uh, any kind of group of people together I, i'm not i'm honestly not a fan of that in general um we're all individuals we should all be treated as individuals and we should all act as individuals as well um but yeah per per perfect and excellent portrayal oh my god it's 
controller is not happy. You leave it for a second and it doesn't want to respond. Anyway, Andy. There you go. Hi. But yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you're Hi. doing well, Poots. Well, Thank you for the you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back Thanks for the choosing that for us. I enjoyed it greatly. Well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Um Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac... He was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. No. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? Dragon we got lots. Slice. Oh. We keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together. Yeah, to money. <laughs> trick, like poots. Us. Bless you. Bless you, Poots. I appreciate that. From the Dragon King Slice. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! God, I got some internet money. Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Bless your peace. Don't need to do that, but I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Oh, okay. He wants us. Wants Liam Mark to go and. Basically, if there's any dead zombies have got uh, tangled up in the fence, push them off and he turns it off. Um. Uh, Root, did it? Yeah, he does that sometimes. It's been a, bit, a little bit so like how's that. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's yep. up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. Hmm. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. That's Relax. True. You're not making things any better riling them up. We'll see. There's one. Ugh. Interesting. It's got an, uh... Lee, it's dead. Uh, Come on, let's push it off. I wouldn't be so sure. But yeah, interesting. It's got an arrow in its neck. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Indeed, it better be. Um, <clears throat> oh! More important than any of that, Dragon King Souls or anything, is the fact that Poots, Poots Cody, is over 9,000. Thank you, sir. I hope that uh, helps you through uh, your day today. <laughs> uh, here we go. Flexing it up, Poots. Where you at, sir? I know you're already on there. Um, and do this. Yes, I appreciate you greatly, Poots. Anything I can ever do for you. I don't feel um, I don't feel uh wrong with saying that. It's just, he sounds silly. It's like, well, I can't do anything for Poots. I can't come over to Canada and help him do anything. You know, it's you know, he can't uh. You know, but the, he's. I hope he understands the. You know, I'm sure he does, and I think everyone does that. It's a case of um. I, you know, I honestly mean it. We just need to invent teleportation. That's it. That's all we need: teleportation, and then I can actually practically go and help people with things. But until such time, but thank you, Pooch. That's your ninth flex on there. I appreciate that. Smiles. How you doing? You well? Exactly, exactly, Ruth. That's, you know, uh, as long as when somebody says that, they earnestly mean it, I think it carries weight. 
Um, I, to, to me, it does. I feel it does. Yeah, poots. Anything I can do, just get at me. But you're good, are you, Smiles? Yeah, now, how, how are you doing, Root? Today? Yeah, I don't know, um, I don't know what's been going on with the Twitch notifications recently, Root. Um, but know that, you know, get, except for emergency situation or I'm running, like, massively late or, um, something I've, uh, predetermined I need to do, like, uh, in about a month's time on a, a Friday, I guess it'll be four weeks from now, uh, I won't be streaming, but, uh, otherwise I should be here every day at the same time, but, uh, I know you probably, like, caught up with work and stuff but but yeah um yeah, it's a thought that counts isn't it but yeah thank you for being here guys i hope you're well it's wednesday i like wednesdays i don't i don't know why most people hate wednesday like, oh it's the middle day um all right here we go disgusting I'm not really disgusting. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Not a fortress, Mark. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? No, we're always going to have to worry about that. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Um. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Uh, I've really got a you. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Kind of gross. Um, Christ, Motley Crue can't fan. Can't stop thinking oh, about uh, dinner. Cool Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Um, I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Mr. Crispy. Um. Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences yep. are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, oh! Uh, I told you what would happen, you son of a what the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! It ain't right! We had a deal! Okay, so these are the banditos. I already got one of you! I got you now! The place is stuck in the dirt. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Get closer! You fucked with us! Now we'll take what we want! Oh my god. So the, the the bandits have obviously got some kind of issue with the St. John's. And obviously because we're there. We're, uh, 
they think we're with them, which we kind of are at this point, but they probably should have mentioned they've got some issues. So, so something about some kind of deal. And they're like, all right, you fuck with us. Rah, rah, rah. They, sh they got bloody bows and arrows and they just stuck an arrow in uh, Mark's shoulder. Um, but yeah, Smalls, I'm not massive. I know Motley Crew, but I'm not like really massively familiar with any of their music, really. Give us the food! All right, okay, give us the food, eh? Show yourself! Yeah, how do I uh, un unhook these? This, there we go. Don't, there we go. I've got a lot of arrows. Right, using the track for his cover. Oh, I'm trying to unhook it properly. Oh, I don't know. I've got someone to break. Quick, I'll break. see you. Ah, I see. Come on, if we can you? reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, they're on the shit. Give us the food! Okay, they want the food. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna deal with. Them. Oh dear. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. No, it's not. It's a. It's completely. It's not one of the dead they pushed down earlier. That's. That's not true at all. That's just a random zombie that's there. I guess we're caught in the moment. I don't know. Right, get out of the way. Um, but still, got to move this fella. Where's our food, you assholes? You assholes! Where do you think you're going? You really think you can fuck with us? Come on out! Is that another one? Oh my god! <laughs> another one? How many of those things did we push down? It's an, no, it's not. It's not us at all. It's going to be alive, isn't it? No, not alive. But. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Can't hide forever. Over there. Oh wow. Of course, it's still alive. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Uh, barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Really? Oh. Okay. I guess I was supposed to deal with it a bit, a bit quicker than that. We're dead, apparently. Not really dead. Obviously. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? It's not been quick enough. I don't know, folks. Sorry about this. That's the only, uh. That's in. Not. I guess it's not a bad thing, because I don't know how else they would do it. Because you need the, um. How many of those things did we push down? You obviously need the threat of death, but if the consequence of death is it just loads you right back up into the same instance again. It still, it still sounds like hella loud to me. Let me, let me turn it down another, another little bit. Ethylene. Yeah, I'm dying all over the place, Af. I'm getting eaten. We've died like 20 times so far. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I... 
the uh, the zombie physiology is not really. Um, I don't think it's ever fully explored. Now, what do we know about them? We know that everybody is infected, essentially, in the world. We we don't know how or why. And when you die, uh, you become a zombie. Even if you just die of natural causes, you're going to become a zombie. It does seem that getting bitten seems to exacerbate. Like, if you get bitten, you may turn into a zombie even though you haven't died. The bite hasn't killed you. That definitely seems to be a thing. Um, and, of course, to stop a zombie completely, you've got to just do a certain amount of damage to their brain. Um, otherwise, they keep going. Like, if you, you know, the, like that guy there, you see he's got his legs torn off. Well, it, the legs are no longer attached to the brain, so the legs are dead, but the torso and arms are still going. Um, but, yeah, we don't know... Um, like sometimes they, because they also seem to be drawn to noise, um, and they kind of recognise humans. They're like as a, their food source, and of course they're they're completely insatiable, and all they want to do is eat human flesh. And they'll do, you know, they have no regard for their own safety. They will just make a beeline to any people. They're not concerned with any other factor. Um, which that all makes sense. Uh, of course, they're, um, they also seem to have, like, a lack of stimuli, be it from other people, like humans, their food source, if, uh, and noise. If they're, like, a, it's almost like if a zombie is left alone without, uh, that stimuli of potential food source or noise or any other, I don't know how, they, if they react, react to light at all, possibly, probably, um... Then they kind of like go into like a kind of almost like a stasis, like a hibernation mode. They will just like stand there and be like, uh, not moving too much, or even fall over on the like if they fall over because they're shuffling around, they may just not even get back up. They'll just like lie there. They just like, oh, okay, no stimuli, no reason to get back up, uh, which is interesting, but. How or why, we can't really ascertain anything from that. But it does, of course, mean that just because you see a corpse, it will have definitely been a zombie at some point. It doesn't mean the zombie is dead. You could see a, a non-moving corpse. It could be completely alive still. Um, as is the instance here. Um, yeah, exactly. It's just... Uh, 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 it's... It, it must just be that stimuli they're drawn to. Oh, the creator discusses it. Um, okay, interesting, F. Interesting. Ah, Artney. How you doing, Artney? Right. Is that right? So, zombies, are when they're eating human flesh... They are actually getting, on some degree, some level of sustenance from that, which does kind of energise them. Yeah, you definitely see that. Like, you kind of... In, no, I'm not, I've not read the comic books, but I've obviously played these games, and um, I've watched a lot of the TV show. You see, like, old zombies? They might have, like, been a zombie for a long time, and they've not eaten anything in a very long time, and maybe they've been, like, trapped in a place for a long time. They become, like, very... Um, seemingly like passive so maybe like their energy levels are lower um but like you say they won't they'll never actually die but they can be like kind of maybe like fall to pieces eventually so to speak it's interesting though when i think about it your queen good morning to you how you doing my dear are you well have you played these games okay so there i'm gonna try and <laughs> i'll try and get through this checkpoint let's go i'm just not being quick enough Lee's face. He's like, you okay? yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to go as quick as I can now. Right yep, let's go, let's go. There we go, let's go. 
That's a lucky uh, shot there. Let's get out of the problem was I was, uh, rather than going as fast as I possibly could, I was just trying to stay behind the tractor. But I guess if you've got the potential of, you know, dudes like 30, 40 feet away are um, shooting arrows at you. Or there's literally a, cr a crawler right behind you about to grab you. You're probably going to get a move on and take a chance, aren't you? Here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Yep. Why aren't you chasing after us? It's interesting. They don't know like who their enemies are. They didn't recognize us. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, uh, um, there was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits uh, here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, uh, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, <clears throat> we must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that band, well, damn, we're going to war. Find us. Pandas, oh, are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, yep. cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Yeah. I'm gonna head out Larry, and speaking sons. deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Bless him. Um. Uh, Dead by Daylight, Queen. No, no, I've not. I've not. I know it's very popular. Um, be doing great, are you? Excellent. Uh, right, um, if things couldn't get any more complicated. Okay, well, they're enjoying themselves. We uh, head over here now. <laughs> Smiles, yeah, be called Duck. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 could, it could be worse things he could be called. <laughs> yeah, uh, did uh, did they say his name's Ken Junior? Which I find that's always a bit like what you're calling your child after yourself. Lots it's like, of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows if that becomes a problem. Um, you know, I don't know. I think <laughs> naming my firstborn child, isn't it, would be uh, the, probably the last thing I would call them. 
Um, but yeah, so Looks it kind of like makes sense. But dark. For a cow. <laughs> Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Um. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Yeah, it's a gamble hey, to stay there, though. Me up really. this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Hmm. You're a good leader, Lovin. Yeah, it's kind of. Emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Oh, he can't even speak to Larry. No, it's pointless. He's like, hey, I don't talk to you. Quaint. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Clearly name, uh, what, uh, my ch children, Duck. I mean, that's, uh, that's like, <laughs> more likely to than, uh, name them after myself. Uh, Af, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, how are you doing today, Af? You well. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah, no you should have mentioned that. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Nope. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Um, I guess we gotta do it. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Oh, okay. Poor Clem. Maybe I should have spoken to her before I walked off. <laughs> See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. You found it? Okay. Bunch of stuff. In a tent. You see anybody? Can't tell. No, it's someone in the tent sleeping. Look at window. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Yeah, so that smoke coming from that little fire there. So they're clearly using the camp. Nobody. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. 
There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Right, okay. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. I mean, the freaking uh, they got the got cooking pot going. <laughs> Just water. Okay. Nothing but fumes. Shit. I don't know. This doesn't feel like the bandit camp. It's just some other random people. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Um. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Uh -uh. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Let's take it back then. Mm. I guess it must be the bandit camp then. Moving a lot of stuff. Interesting. Empty. So, what's that? MP3 player? Or camera? Okay. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. Yep. Well, what else they got over here? Why's that Let's good? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Danny, that's sus. I found a video I see camera. I you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. That's a bit, that was a bit sus there, Danny. Hey, I found a... What's that you found? A camera. Let me see that. Oh, it's dead. Good. <laughs> it's, not that he's, it's not the fact that he wanted to see it. You know, he might be like, oh, 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 let me have a look at that. Curiosity. But the fact that I was like, oh, it's not working. And he says good. Why is it good that the camera's not working, Danny? That seems sus as all bloody hell, bro. Just to let you know, son. Um... Nothing. Yeah, so clearly someone's been here recently because uh, they've got a little fire guy and they're boiling some water. But the state of it looks like maybe they're moving out or they're looks moving like they're on. Expected to be here a while. I don't know. But um, they got a kid with them. That's like a kid stuffed toy there. Like bandits are not going to have a look at a uh, bunny rabbit, are they? Oh, it's covered in blood. Oh, man. That's not good. Yeah. Same. It's not bandits, then. Unless... That's the thing. <laughs> they may not be bandits, you know. That's the thing in the... In the uh... In the world of The Walking Dead, it's like everybody's a bad guy and everybody's a good guy, and nobody's either. Everyone's just trying to survive. Um, you should. I, I do feel you should give people the benefit of the doubt and not just attack strangers. Um, and you also like not be a, a bad guy. If you if you are a part of a group and you approach another group and you are you they've got some a resource you want, you should either trade with them or team up with them and, be, and like have a merger and become a single group and share your resources if you are uh threatening them if you either either give us stuff or we will attack you or you're just not even doing the negotiation stage you're just we just gonna attack with attacking you and taking your stuff then you're a bad guy 
Uh, if someone's already established they're a bad guy or your enemy, then you are then allowed to do that. If that makes sense. Like, these guys who attacked us for no reason didn't stop to check who we were. They were just like, ah, yeah, we're going to shoot arrows at you. We should kill them. But if we, uh, say, um, we come across their main camp and there's, like, kids there, we're well, going to kill their kids. No, surely not. But, and they're just trying to survive. But I don't know. Jesus. It's a mess. Oh, that's the that's the intrigue of the setting, isn't it? That it is a mess, and there's no right and wrong, or you know, you were trying to determine right and wrong. The hell! Don't you fucking move! Oh. Shit! Put your guns down! I ain't going back. You tell him, Jolene that's Kevin ain't going cat. back. Hey, we had a deal. Oh, she said no she lost it, didn't she? No as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Crazy? Look, it's not safe up <laughs> here you? in the woods. Oh. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think no. I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Uh. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Go on. Tell him, boy. Sorry, I didn't... Tell him what you got in mind for. Oh. Okay. I mean. That seems sus, but I don't. I can't really blame him for shooting us. God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. Yeah. This... <sighs> damn. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still. What a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. She seemed crazy. But she was like, very much like... Accusing the, the St. John's of being creepy mofos. Like some, something weird is going on. They are sus, aren't they? Come on. Okay, got a crossbow. I guess that makes sense to say that. Ugh, intense. Intense stuff. This is not... Man, like I say, this is, I've played this before. Ride, this, huh? is, this is all pretty Jesus, uh, tense. Danny? What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? How Handled did that lady it, get Clementine's hat? This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What are they, what they arguing there? about now? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Um. Yeah, you could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't 
worry. Mm. Friend of. Have a look around. Mm. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Well, uh, she's not um, she's not a cow veterinarian, but I guess you know better than you know a, a, a cat and dog veterinarian is going to know better than anyone who's not. Okay, I guess we'll go see Clem. Give her a hat. And, uh... Right, oh, did Kenny wander off over here? I need to know what's going on with these two. Oh, yeah, we need to question Danny. You're Danny, what the Hello. f... Hello. Glad I got to use her today. You're glad? My girl here. That's creepy. You really like that girl. What's not to like? It's just a girl. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving ham when you got a bone in your pocket. What? Um. How do you run this place with just That's one creepy. <laughs> used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. That's so creepy. Oh, Charlotte. Let me caress you while you sit on my lap. Oh, is that your girlfriend, Dan? No, it's my gun. <laughs> um, welcome back, Smiles. Um... You ordered Subway? Oh my god, I'm freaking jelly. Nice. Uh, what did you get? Um, yeah, yeah, Rue, it seems real. Because here's the thing in this setting. Nothing is ever as it seems. And if you... got you, you, you I, I feel that those who survive the best are not... It's not even like your, your physical strength, your intelligence... Your practical skills which all help massively of course if you're smart and you're strong and you have a good skill set they're all going to help the thing that you need the most most important and i would say even all of those things combined is your instinct your intuition if you get a vibe that something is off you know you meet a group and they're like yeah come join us and you're like well safety in numbers and they've got resources but you're getting some crazy vibe off them, like... You, you, you better to leave. Go on your own with no resources. If you get that bad vibe, don't wait for the shit to hit the fan. And you, you gotta... You gotta... Also keep it in check. Because you have to understand that... It's kind of pointless to just survive on your own. Um... You, you know, you, you, people need people, but... You gotta find the right people. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna yeah. go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Danny, you are fucking creepy, bro. I don't know where Kenny went. Let's, uh, I guess we're not worried about it. Oh, toolbox. We need jack their toolbox. Multi tool. Oh, I'll just pocket that. Borrow this for a second. You forgot what you ordered. <laughs> Fair enough, buddy. Uh, in in the excitement. Oh my God, I, I'm, I do love sandwiches. Does anyone not like a sandwich? But it's like um, talk about a perfect example of the sum being greater than the parts. That's that's sandwiches for you. Uh, I guess we'll try and talk to Lily. I don't know where Kenny went, but... Be like, yo, what is up with you two? Get your shizzle together. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? No. We found a woman in the world. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. 
Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. Who knows? I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. Hmm. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hmm. For now, we also wouldn't have had any food. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Don't worry, I'm not coming on to you. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. Uh, That's just how he is. He can't. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that, but he's not a bad guy. He just, Storm rolling. Him. He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I don't know, maybe I'm just like a weird, callous kind of person, like... Um, like if uh, if I was with my brother in this situation, then I'd be, obviously I'd put him before everybody else. But if he started acting like a freaking dickhead and just like being overly aggressive to people for like no real reason, I'd, I'd have to put him in check. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it. It seems like it, doesn't it? It doesn't really. Some, if 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 it if it smells like bullshit, uh, you know what they say. Anyway, um, do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, Many things. It's nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know or what is you mean. it? These backwoods people always give me the creeps. Uh, if you ask me, people. we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm going to go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Shut up, Barry. You find it tricky to know what you want. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the beauty of a sandwich. You could be anything, couldn't it? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Okay, let's go see uh, the kids and cat here and meet this cow. It's not feeling very well. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Oh, she's pregnant. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Yeah. Did you lick it? I don't know. Uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do know, and you did. <laughs> That's funny.
Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? It's only no. random circumstance so I came across it. The motor in who might have taken it? No. Why? It's Wait, probably where did you leave it then? Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. How did that random okay, lady I get will. it? Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh, um... I don't, I don't think so. I think so, Clem. Not the way the world is now. I just... Uh, I don't think I could do that. Oh. Maybe when the world gets better, then... I've got a kid. You! Maybe. Well, thanks for oh, finding bless my hat. You're welcome, Clem. The world's not do getting better, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Sure. Yeah, but you go on ahead. Oh, what? I'm a spoil sport, Lee. Pet the cow. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Um, maybe, I guess. I didn't duck. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Yeah. Uh. Hey, <laughs> don't use swear words, okay? What? No, it, it, it doesn't matter. You okay. can swear if you like. Uh, sorry, we. Oh my god, we taught her that. <laughs> Oops. That's that's a bit of a stitch up. That's that's a bit cold. Obviously, we freely said the sh the s word to Clem like it was no big deal. And then she's just like copied us, and then we've admonished her for it because of Katya giving us an eye. I should have been like, we should have been like high five her and be like, yeah, <laughs> uh, or something. I don't know. I don't know. Not not high five her, but I don't know. That's that's not really fair, is it, to do that to a child? If you act like it's no big deal, then it should be no big deal. Not um, just some fence posts. Yeah, sorry, Clem. I apologise on Lee's behalf. You should just have just gone, yep, that's right. And it gives a damn if uh, Katya uh, is into it or not. We got here. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Yeah. Ooh, Not only that, though. Pretty foul. Not only that, though. What, um... Uh, hydration fluid. IVs. Okay. Weird. Any doubt here? That's locked. You okay. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. Metal and it's sharp. My job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll protect, protect her. her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. Mm. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? What? You are not saying what I think you're saying. Kenny, what the Jesus, fuck? Man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Uh, wow, Kenny, what the hell? He's like, oh, uh, you know how to pick a lock, right? Because you're black. 
fuck's sake, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, classic Florida, man. I, so I can't really speak um, brute because I'm not American. I don't know. But I hear that, you know, Florida, man, is, you know, potentially a bit of a, a syndrome. Um, but yeah, can we just look through the little gap there? Hmm. Can we just use the multi-tool to what? unscrew See those that? screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well... We're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Uh, just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right Andrew. away, Doc. <laughs> well, oh, we are busted in here. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, mm. enough already. Yeah, why? Well, okay. Seems more and more sus. Abby, how you doing, Abby? Oh, you're well, my dear. Lovely to see you the other day, Abby. Always, always a pleasure to see you streaming. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I came back towards the end of the stream, and Abby's like, "Why are you not in bed?" I'm like, "Sorry, mum. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, I don't get to bed about two a.m., Abby. But what I do when I raise, I, uh, I'm so hungry. Like, I will hang around for two minutes, and then I've got to go sort food out." And to like you know tidy up and do dishes so depending on who i've raided i can quite often like come back to the end of the stream so that that's uh that's that's why but um hey look it's abby hey look it's ben did you you guys uh come here together your mum <laughs> i i mean abby i shouldn't be uh saying anything like you know because I don't want to put ideas in people's heads, but uh, you know, you probably make a good mum. Uh, not for me, not for me to say. Um, yeah, no, we we only it's a, it's a fairly short game, Abby. I think it was only like ten, maybe twelve hours long the playthrough. But um, yeah, Ben was saying that you uh, you're probably quite familiar with this series. Random hay. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Uh, okay. Duck's face. You want what? What do you, what do you even mean, duck? You want to play on the hay? You're just going to climb on it and then climb off it, and you can over sit on it, and then stand on it. I mean, <laughs> what is this plan? Um, is a coincidence? Yeah, yeah. If you say so, man. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah, found a multi tool. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Good to hear. Okay, well, I was <laughs> go for it. Um, Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. Let's have a little look in here. Nothing in there. No, I didn't. I would have loved to. I'd love to grow up on a farm. That would be wonderful, Af, but uh, alas. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Um. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Okay. Eh, not that important. Uh, I'm not going to lie to him. I'm going to have a look around outside, see if there's something I can do. He's, I don't want to, he's already so we're suspicious of them and he's suspicious of us let's see what we can find outside to uh, do something to distract him maybe turn the generator off oh. I don't know if that's a good idea though <laughs> so how does a woman like yourself run this whole place oh, Larry just fine. plus I have my boys to help out I couldn't do it without them no that, oh, Larry's trying to charm his ingratiate himself, isn't he? Can we turn the generator off? You 
we're gonna go. I don't know if we've got enough time though, would it? If we just if we just turn switch. the power switch off. Yeah. Hang on, let's have a look here. Because if you, if I just turn it off and I go, oh, uh, uh, Andy, the generator's turned off. He'll go, oh, he'll run, he'll come running out, and just put the, turn it back on. So, <laughs> uh, guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Okay. We can actually, not that's a good idea because we, we don't want it to be broken. Right. Okay. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. Oh, uh, okay. I want to turn it off first. Take the belt off. There, that should do it. Uh, it's going to be a bit sus though. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, yeah. Fucking thing through a belt. Damn it all. Oh, son of a. Fuck! Oh, this take forever. Oh no! Uh, how did that happen, Andy? I wish I knew. I have no idea. We don't want to help, friend. Oh no, I can't help with that. Oh, uh, really, Abby? You're actually trying to work towards that? Okay, cool. Well, good on you. I don't want to like be uh putting uh thoughts in your or isaac's head or anything but yeah good on you get after it you'd make great parents i'm sure of it um yes uh, ben absolutely and then you'll be uncle ben yeah it wasn't it wasn't such at all was it just, just random, just random constants there, uh, Andy. Oh, here we go. Let's get in here, Kenny. Is Mom, that dinner Dad, time? dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad, Dad, come on, let's eat. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay. It's going to take five minutes, right? I'm just I was like taking a poop. It's just uh, it's just my uh, Canadian voice, uh, Abby. I just like uh, I just, it's my it's my go-to voice. Uh, okay, let's have a look. What's here? I'm trying to hide from us. Oh, oh, oh! Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Oh, dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. I mean... I guess that makes sense. But the fact that you uh, tried to hide that from us. You are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, you know what? You know what? This, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food. <clears throat> You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Okay. Uh, I wonder what that... 
That lead is going Focus upstairs. Getting through that thing. Indeed. I need to open the medicine cabinet, but I guess we're All right, shaving cream. Could use a shave. Uh, I think that's the least of you worries, Lee. Okay. Um. Gauze pads. Um. I mean, the sink's right there, but this must be Terry. Okay, I'll head upstairs. Why are, we, why are we creeping, Lee? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, we're, we're just going to go and say uh, hello to Mark. That's all we're doing. Yeah, the fact that... Okay, I wonder what's going in there. I've got some lead going that through the wall. A power cord. Okay, a pa it's just a power cord that's not plugged in. I don't think you want to go and just plug it in, dear Lee. That's a bit random. Could, 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 who knows what he's doing? What the hell? Ugh, what is this stuff? Is that Looks more like empty IVs? V tube saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Oh dear. I think some of you might have worked I this out already. Someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Candles. Smart. Who do they need so much morphine for? Yeah, I mean I should probably unplug that now. Okay, well, <laughs> that's um, that's a problem. That's one of my uh, not issue. I want to say issues. It's, it goes back to the illusion of choice. It's like you you're presented with situations where it's not really explained what, how, or why you have to do something, but you're forced a longer path. So we're sitting down to have dinner. Lee's like, oh, I want to wash my hands. Okay, cool. Going to the bathroom just across the hall. It won't. Let you, you know you can't even look at yet alone use the sink um and then the game is like forcing me to walk upstairs now we've got no reason to go upstairs really apart from the fact that we're snooping, sorry, snooping around trying to find out what's going on like they could have they could have just maybe like maybe the sink didn't work the faucet didn't the tap didn't work and then now i'm like then oh okay and the least like oh let's look around for let's see they've got a bathroom upstairs yeah or, or something um I don't. You, that's my only issue now. Now we're like wandering into their bedroom because there's nothing else. We 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 we're forced to do this. Does that make sense? Um, where's oh, blood? Is that blood? Is it fresh? Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. A secret Phone door. Books, oh yeah, look, there's the lights coming from the other side of it. The ordinary here. Right. I mean, if you've got a hidden door there and there's a light on the other side of it, this is sus as all hell. What? Oh, Mark. they've cut what the hell happened? Mark's legs off. Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Oh, we're having Mark for dinner. Clementine. Yeah, we're on the Get to Clementine before she eats, or she'll be eating human flesh. 
Well, we'll probably grab the gun first. Clementine, no! Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? That's ridiculous. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Hey, the fact you just Dad, ignore that. I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade as meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. Oh, look at the plate of meat in the middle. That's Mark. Mark, flavored meat. Oh, she just said. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. In it's including how me. I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm going to puke. We outnumber you. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. He wasn't. He had a little like... arrow in his shoulder. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! Oh dear. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking what? Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out don't of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. What, what, what a thing to say. Why did I say that? <laughs> oh, Andy. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Yeah, Abby, very nasty. Open the it's wild, isn't it? Door. Now, uh, I, uh... Can I pause it there? I said yesterday about how in this survival situation, I would be eat willing to eat human flesh to survive. However, what I'm suggesting that I would do is completely different to what the St. John's are doing. Um... They mur they've basically just gone, oh, they just like they're just kidnapping people. They're just like, oh, we'll take you, 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 you know, you, 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 uh, a food supply for a month. We'll t you know, if your buddy dies, then yes, but don't kill your buddy, don't kill a stranger. Yeah, and be, be like a bit, you know, be uh, cautious of going down that route, but. Don't be like, oh, oh, you, you got an arrow in your shoulder. You're dead, buddy. <laughs> and don't lie about it. They should, you know, if they were, they were already put themselves on the back foot by lying about it. If they were uh, just tr truly, genuinely okay with what they're doing, they would just be open and honest about it. But they know fundamentally they're not. Uh, so that's, to me, that's the, the issue there. Um, yeah. I don't know. Some people are creeped out by it, uh, Abby, and it would be very creepy and weird. But if you, it depends how 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 much do you want to stay alive? How much do you want to survive? Like us, you know, if you um, like where they were at the motel. If they're like st they're all starving, I'm not saying like you're like hey, let's kill that guy Larry because we don't like him. Or oh, yeah, Doug's about to. You know, yeah, Doug's kind of useless. Let's kill Doug. You know, you should all go without food and all be starving. But then when the first one of you starves to death, then you're like, well, now the rest of us don't need to. 
God, I sound like a psychopath, maybe. <laughs> but if you're like, oh, hey, we'll be our friend, guy. And then you just like chop their legs off. <laughs> oh, but you had an arrow in your shoulder, so you're obviously going to die. No. No, you aren't. Um, all sorts of messed up. I hope um, Scott. <laughs> Hey then, Sky. Uh, so that's my... Uh, don't hang around if you don't want to spoil the Sky. Uh, it's up to you. Obviously, I'm very happy here. Uh, you get what I'm saying, Abby. There's a difference. I would be... I, I, I'd just be like an extreme pragmatist, but re still remaining an honourable person. Um, so I wouldn't be one of the people freaked out by like, Oh, no! It's better to starve to death. You can't be a cannibal. Uh... But I would do it in an honourable fashion. Nobody's getting murdered to... You know, we're not sacrificing one person to save everyone else. And we're certainly not lying to anyone about it. If you bet out with other groups, just be like, Hey guys, yeah, yeah, you can join our group, but just know we this is how we operate. We are, you know, occasionally cannibals. You know, it's not fun. It's not pretty. And we do have a co an ethical code of honour about how we conduct that. But if that's not for you, you guys need you know, don't team up with us. The St. John's did not do that. They were like, oh, yeah. They were super shifty, super shady about the whole thing. So, um, it always, it's curious that as a family, a family of three, one of them must have broached that subject and gone, hey, you know, uh, maybe we just eat some people. And then well, the other two were just like, huh. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. In fact, I was thinking the same thing. I'm glad you mentioned it. <laughs> Or they're like, what? No! But, <laughs> curious, I, I wonder. Um, yeah, exactly, Abby. Would, you would want, if I, if I was in the group and I died, I would want you to eat me. I wouldn't be like, no, my poor corpse. Uh, and you'd have to be quick. And the thing is, you'd have to be quick about it. That's why they're keeping Mark alive. That's why they have the IVs and they're just cutting pieces off at a time. Uh, because, um, obviously, if you die, then it's only a matter of time before you become a zombie. And eating human flesh is one thing. Eating zombie flesh. It might be okay. But I feel like it wouldn't be. And even if it was, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can take it that far. Hey, I'm going to survive the zombie apocalypse. Those zombies always trying to eat me. I want to eat them back. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a bad idea. But anyway, let's deal with this situation. I guess they, 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 I guess they've captured us at gunpoint. And they're like, okay, well, now the secret's out of the bag. Uh, you all are prisoners now. I'm going to eat you. And keep us in here. <coughs> Open up. I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bare hands. we got to find another way out of here. <laughs> Yo, oh, jeez. fucking bastards! Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the really goddamn bad. door Stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. His name the is Mark. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Let us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! Yeah, Larry, just banging on the door asking to be that was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut what? the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Po po that's positivity no, for you the there. Locker. Don't want to know what kind. And make you swallow them. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Come on. Try us out. Our cowards. Dad! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? Thank you, Abby. Let me get on that. No such luck. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. There's more of it on the way. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy. Dad? No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped...
stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! Yeah, you know he's not dead. To happen, Lee. Think about it. <clears throat> you saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Um, yeah, no. You can't no. kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was yeah. different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. We don't know that. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. <laughs> Kenny's like... Come on, Lee. <laughs> I mean, you can't I... be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you. Please help me. You have to. Come on, Dad. Come on. Let's help Lily. It's the right Lee! thing to do. Is he breathing at all? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. What? You're putting all Two, of us at risk, you son of a three, bitch. You're fucking four. worthless, Lee. <laughs> Kenny, you're an asshole. I'm so sorry. I just. Right, firstly, I don't know why. I get that those salt licks are heavy. But I don't know why Larry's head was so squishy. I can understand <laughs> if he's already a, if you're a zombie and you've been a zombie for several months, you might, your head might be squishy like that. But I don't know. It's not the first time they've done weird stuff last. Um, but Kenny, though, Kenny's a bit of a slap. Ah, uh, Lee, you're useless. You're fucking useless. We well, were supposed to be friends, Kenny. Kenny is himself is sus. Um. Benefit of the doubt. If, you know, if someone's, if someone is definitely dead, then yes, you need to do that. If someone is not definitely dead, then you've just murdered them, which, I mean, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I'm not going to miss Larry. And technically, we owed him a, a murdering, so maybe I should have used that opportunity, but you've got to step up and be, do the right thing. And that was the right thing. Kenny, though. Kenny, bro, you... I can't trust you, son. It's <laughs> the most, uh, I, you know, he's quite capable, because Kenny, but oh, I don't know. Oh, this is all going to shit. Um, yeah, why, so why did it pop like a watermelon? Um, right, okay, but still, I don't know that it's that heavy, Abby, that it would... Uh, it, like a, a human skull would just squish like that severely but you know never mind it had to be done you don't know that yes i do lee and so do you Not the, i was oh. counting on you man you always counting on me kenny and you're never I'm helping sorry. me out i know don't you fucking touch me <laughs> wow are you okay is it over? Um, yeah. Um. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Bless her. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like <laughs> what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? We found a way out? Working on it. Working on it. 
Yeah, no, but that. But here's the thing, Abby. These are great games. But <laughs> since we started yesterday, we've there's been at least like a, a, a good few things that I've gone here. That doesn't make sense. That or even it's just like not actually consistent. Nothing that breaks the story, but. Even when uh, earlier, Lee and uh, Mark were uh, clearing out the zombies off the fence. And they were on the other side and being attacked by the bandits with their bows and arrows. And we were pushing the tractor and then we hit a, z a zombie. Uh, and they're like, they're like, oh, that must have been one of the ones we pushed off earlier off the fence. And it, no, it actually clearly wasn't. Why would you even say that? There's literally no reason for you to say that. <laughs> That's one example. It's just... But, you know, it doesn't... Nothing that b breaks the story as such. The, the drama. Wow. It, it looks super heavy. But like, you know, what? Well, um, if I picked up... It's probably... It looks like maybe as heavy as like... Maybe even heavier than like, say, like a kettlebell. If I picked up a kettlebell over my head and... Put my full strength down on someone's face and they were on the ground. It would wreck their face. It would crack their face in. Uh, you know, break their nose, probably break their orbitals, crack their in front of their skull, don't completely smash up their face, but it wouldn't like, whoop, it wouldn't like, just watermelon their face. <laughs> it, yeah. But anyway, it's a comic book. We're playing a comic book, folks. This is not reality. We're we're we're, we're in DC comics. No, not DC. Be an air duct behind this Yo, thing. Legion Cage. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Clem. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi tool? Multi -tool. Yeah. Of course. Check his pockets. Do. Shit. Yeah, Maybe there's there, something did. else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh uh. If we can remove these screws. The AC should come down easily. Oh. It's not coming off that way. Okay, let's find a coin or something to use. Right, so where is everybody else? Where's Duck and Cat, yo? Uh, Doug and Ben stayed at the... Uh, at the motel, didn't they? Um, I mean, I assume... They've just stuffed Mark, what's left of Mark, back up in their little uh, death room. Their little meat chopping up room. Um, oh, God. Look at him. He'll have a coin in his pocket. I'm sorry, Lily. Yeah, it's too, too, too squishy. Yeah. I know you just lost your dad, Lily, and you're covered in his blood. Still lively. He was still alive. Um. You've got to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Yes. Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. You got, you got any money in your pocket there, Larry? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. No, no, no need for that. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Oh. Lucky. There's no reason for him to be counting around. Yo, spin dash. You <laughs> get a headache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he could say that. Just got to I didn't there, bro. You're right. And get this unit off. Ha! There we go. Very shiny coin. 
Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Kenny, I'm about ready to knock you the fuck out, son. God. <laughs> I think not the uh, necessarily f f funny thing about this game, but like very few of the characters out, are actually re redeemable. Um, Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. If you're sure, Clem. Gonna need you to. Um. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> exactly, and do it again. That's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Let's hope so. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've only played the first three seasons. We've got the fourth one lined up uh, as well, Spendash, uh, which I haven't played. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good, good. Not necessarily uh, good video games, but as a, I don't know, I mean, a work of art entertainment okay. product. Did anyone see you? It, it's hard to beat them. There's a man outside. The man? Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Good job, Clem. Um, yeah, is it, Abby? So I will say, even though I have played the first three seasons, I feel like season one is the one I remember the most. I don't really remember what happens in season two and three. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Yeah. We that could make a reasonable weapon. Not against guns, obviously, but yeah, that doesn't really help for humans, though, does it? <laughs> I got bit, bits and pieces Ugh, stuffed in the jars. I think I'm gonna be sick. Just, anything better than a uh, barbecued human is pickled human. Oh, is that a stun gun? Okay, cool. Not a stun gun, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but how are you doing, Cage? You well? The phone's not having it. Yeah, I can't. Oh, did I put that back? I got a choice. Yeah, I think this, maybe the the handheld cattle prod would be better. God, what's wrong with these people? Ow, oh, the sickle. I would imagine the, the, the stun gun would be uh, the best thing. There's Danny. Danny, we we'll have to mark you up some. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you going to do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. I mean, I don't know what else we're going to do. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. I mean, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn weird. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Yep. Can I pick which one to keep in my life? Not to kill. Not enough meat on the trade. Oh my god. 
Oh, I know, Mabel. This is What's my he doing? favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even What's he doing now? He's setting a trap, okay. Can we just not attack him that right then? No. Where is he? He's probably right above us. See where he is now. He's gonna be right in front of us, isn't he? Oh. Oh dear. Oh! Good job, Lily. The stun. The, 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 uh. Look at Kenny just hunkered down there. No, he looked, to be fair. Lee was no! like. Nah. What? Now it's Katya, wasn't it? I'm well, I'm well, Cage. No, not really. He's just, he's been a dick. Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. Uh, it's how the world works now. Danny, you crazy. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're all wow. tainted. Yeah. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. I mean, they tried to kill us. No! Sorry, Clem. It's, oh, it's got to do what we got to do. Um, oh my God! Yeah, you were Rue. It's it was all messed up. God no! Gotcha. Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. I won't do it. Yeah, I was tempted to just leave him there to his fate, but um. He, he may have, you know, he may, he's in the bear trap, but he may have, he could have been a liability. It's not worth the risk. Oh. That dog with his laser pointer. That's coming from. Doug? Ah! Doug. What's she even doing? Doug, what the hell was that? Morse code. You almost blinded me. You think we know Morse code? Sorry about that, but I did get your attention. We heard screams from the barn. What's going on? These people are fucking crazy. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. No, if we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on, this way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. It's only um. Yes. It's only Andy and Brenda, so they might have the uh, home uh, team advantage, so to speak. No, no, but uh. No, no, no. But uh. There's two against like eight of us, not eight. But trying to eat duck. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I'm going to say anything. Oh, 
Tommy! Let me go! Lee, hit back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda! Now you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Um. It's uh, in the environment. I should be done. No. Is that Mark turned into a zombie? Just back her up the stairs and then he'll grab over. Don't do anything stupid. Let her go, Brenda. Please listen to him. I'll do it. Please. I want to kill you. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. Oh my god. This have gone any worse. That ain't gonna happen. Andy, don't shut up. Oh. Uh, Is that not a bolt Andy. action? I guess not. I Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline and some human flesh to feast on. Kenny's got shot, but oh, there we go. Lily, there we go. Got a left on you as well. There we go. Yeah, are we are we done, Lee? Right. We... I think we're done, right? No. Oh my god. Kenny seems to white, right, doesn't he? Is that all you he's, got, he's... Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. <sighs> It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> I 
said, it's over! Just walk away! Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! I probably should, really. We don't want him... Can't leave enemies behind you, can you? Um... Kick him? I don't know if I want to kick him. I want to. We've got something to. Uh... All right, what's it? Oh, oh! Okay, that's not what I was going for. But yeah, look, he's gonna. He's not gonna let go of the fact that uh, we killed his brother and mum, is he? He's gonna have nothing to live for and then come after us for revenge so you gotta type these loose ends folks even if everyone thinks we're like lee's bit psychotic <laughs> um getting in. Yeah. time to uh time to, to sk sk skedaddle Yeah, Brenda's going to be uh, zombified. If she's not already. Looks like she might be already by the looks of it. Poor Mark. Uh, Larry, I mean... I don't think Kenny should have yeeted him like that, but... I'll keep an eye on Kenny. He's, he's like... Kenny's like one of these fair weather friends. And all the time you're agreeing with him... He's your best buddy. As soon as you disagree with anything he thinks or says, he suddenly becomes your worst enemy. And Clem's like, oh, Lee, you are actually a, a psychopathic killer, aren't you? And Lee's like, eh, hey, I'll Lee, have a bit of practice. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. Um. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Yeah. Well, we gotta stick together. I mean... Were they really chopping up people for food? Yep. Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see or... Everyone knows everything. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Mm. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Nope. Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Dud? Yeah, it's just a basic camcorder. The save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <sighs> Where'd he get shot, uh, How Kenny? How are you doing? His leg. I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Yeah, we don't know where he took the bullet. He, se he seems not too worse for wear because he got shot. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Yeah, you're not a bad man, Kenny, but you're not a good man either. Come on, Clementine. In the Stay way that, close. like, Lee is trying to be. Lee, he seems to be caught to Lee, who's a good guy. Those men? Um. Um. Yeah. Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark, and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad. So, Clem, we'll train you up to be a little killer. Noise? All right. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Strangers are not all bad, Ben, considering we've known you for about 10 minutes. <laughs> you seem all right. <laughs> oh, Andy, cooked and ready to eat. I'm here. If the circumstances were different, uh, Scotty, maybe.
Um. Hello? Okay, I mean, we just abandoned their car, have they? Okay, I mean, figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Oh, damn. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> hmm. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if um, it's not? Yeah. Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? <sighs> Tricky situation. What do you do? Um. Um. That's right. If it is somebody else's stuff, you we shouldn't take it. But we don't know that it isn't. What what on earth is going on? Like, um, I guess if someone went to the uh, the motel, and we we must have. Well, I mean, we don't have any food there. But if we had we have some stuff there, uh, and we just came back and our stuff was gone, we would probably view those people as enemies. Um. But yeah, you've got a car loaded up and you just like wandered off. Unless they ran out, unless they were just traveling and they um, ran out of gas and they've just left their car to go and get out gas. But unless you're just one person, you would probably leave somebody there with the food. Just in case. Um, <clears throat> the issue, of course, is uh, if it, if, you know, we, for we know the, you know, the owners of this could be dead. We, how can we just walk away from supplies here? Um, we can't just leave. Literally, they're right there. You just can't leave them. Um, so I feel we've got to take them for our own survival. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Okay, so I didn't see the key icon there. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. Cool, thank you, Ben. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Um. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with them, okay? That's reasonable. Okay. It's random crap there. You'd feel bad if you came back. Here, Clint, I would. Want some uh, batteries? Um. All right, for a walkie-talkie, maybe. Hey, Lee, you know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Yeah, please, show me. Show me what we got here, Doug. Oh. Oh, they were watching us. Oh, 
Oh, this was the. Oh, uh, okay. This was the uh, the lady in the camp, wasn't it? Hey, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. Oh, rapists. Oh, darling, oh, baby, oh, look at you. Nice. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you. Where are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do... Don't worry, little girl. And it's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Well, well, well. Okay. That's usually crazy. Yeah, the bandits are scumbags. We, we knew that. All right, here we go. So I think... We don't... I think if I go to main menu, it should... Uh, We've got the auto save because I don't need to see ne next time, do we? We just get into it. I don't need the drama. I hate that when they do that on TV shows. They're like next time, and you're like, I'll, I'll, I don't want, I don't want like uh, you know, a preview of what's going to happen. I'm, I'm about to watch next time. So hopefully, um, yeah, there we go. Sorry. Oh, is it still on episode two? No, there we go. Episode 3, The Long Road Ahead. I'm riding a train there. Choo choo. Previously. There we go. That's the you can't skip the previously, so. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out Biggie, there who you were or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. <laughs> Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Well, I'm, I guess uh, bad things happen to you, lady, but also, you know, you threaten us with a gun. Fresh hell. All right, Lee and Kenny. Let's go out this uh, ruined town. Oh wait, wait this is back Looks in uh, like Macon. Lucky day. Hmm? Um. Yeah, maybe they tend to take us by surprise. Yeah. Well, the less I see, the happier I am. So do we not leave, or uh, they they stool at the uh, motel because the bandits are still out there? That's the problem, Made isn't up it? Your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp. Considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. No, actually, um, we should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. See. That's what I'm talking about. Even when you agree with Kenny and you support him, he's like, his, his response is always, well, you should fucking do something then. And if you disagree with him, he's like, he's reeing everywhere. 
he's, I don't know, he means well, but, um, oh, sorry, is that, uh, uh, who's done the dialogue option? Sorry, you have to be quicker on it than that. I do apologize. Is that you at Ab? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, does that, you just cancelled that, Scotty. Was that you? Uh, that's Abby's, uh, hydration there. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Um. But yeah, obviously, I if anyone wants to do uh dialogue options redemptions, they certainly you're certainly welcome to. Obviously, ninety percent of your dialogue options are you got to be on it quick, and I'm not going to see it coming up, so not going to be time. But if it's like they're choosing to take the food or not, where you've got a binary choice, and you're not on a timer, you have to make a decision one way or the other. Then feel free. Um, it was you, uh, Spin Dash. Oh. It's not on my, uh, I don't know why my, um, stream manager's been slow. It's, uh, it's not on the, it's on, on my, uh, rewards queue. There we go. Okay, I'll give you points back, uh, Spin Dash, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, yeah, no, sorry, my, uh, reward queue wasn't, had an updated there for a second. Is that a, a military helicopter in the top of that building? Time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> so where where did get Kenny get shot? And I guess he's just okay. He maybe Shit. just got clipped. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Well, we ain't get that ain't gonna work. To climb up that, is it? So much for the military. Indeed. when we're pushing this. Interesting. That ain't gonna work, is it? Obviously. <laughs> They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll just have to climb that ladder and just... It's gonna be screwed, isn't it? The fallen concrete. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a go. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's got a flat that's there. Completely flat. What about ah, I've got a winch though. I'm do this. Lily's um, not doing so good, huh? Um. She'll be fine. If you say so. You're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Set with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. Oh yeah, of course, sir. Uh, Spin Dash Norris. Um, I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really. I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. <laughs> Shit! Wow. Wow, good job, Kenny. 
Yeah, I could do this. No, I can't. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Oh. Help me! Stop screaming, lady. Somebody help me! Oh God! Oh God! What the? What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus! I don't think so. Mm, oh no, she needs. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. And actually, okay. we can't help her. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all too. Yeah. Buying us time. You can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. It's awful, but it's it's the right thing to do. No, Lee, don't save your bullet, Lee. He's too, he's always too nice. Yeah, I mean, what was she even doing on her own? Just running around like headless chicken, getting bitten. Good, let's go. She'll keep you busy. This, this game's so dark. She's, I mean, she... Uh, Tell, she's like, go away, zombies. Why? Just constantly screaming. She's like, like how she even survived this long? We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. I don't even know what I'm picking up here. That's just counting numbers of items. She's gone. There's not much time now. Do you want to uh, put all these things into the box, right? You know? Circles, are we? We'll get rid of them. Oh, I think I've got all the items. Your backpack has lots of supplies. Fuck. Incoming. That's good. Come on, Lee. Up and over. Um. Yes. I agree. Up and over. Oh. Okay. There's nothing to click on. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, that was annoying. Awesome. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, Kenny is going to do the whole I'm not actually going to help you uh, again thing. Make your mind up, Kenny. Indecision's a bad decision. didn't you? So that backpack we just filled up. We just are we are we lost that, or is that pr pr the proverbial backpack? Oh no, because didn't have it at the start, did he? Oh, look at this! Oh my God, all the arrows. So we're we're being harassed by the bandits, but they haven't 
done an actual proper attack at almost by the looks of it. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet That's pea. cool. <laughs> That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Bless her. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Wow, Kenny. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's how how uh you need to so, face what it. Did like. you get? Ben's capable, right? Um Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So, you two are, uh... Having a disagreement? No. Yeah. Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strong. You're not together. capable either, Kenny. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No. Because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! No. How would you know? What I know? Oh, it's better I know you're not though. above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Not every now day. Everybody <laughs> get out! There's not enough people here, Lily. Meant to get smaller every day. <laughs> Guess now, now it's not time to mention that. Slight, I don't know, slight. Um, just say maybe we should let Kenny die, bro. Um, Happy Kenny. Oh, that means My so. family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. You kind for of once. slightly are a bad guy, Kenny. Slightly. You just, there's too much. Sh Suspect stuff like how he hesitated when we were getting attacked by walkers in the drugstore. Yeah, I guess. And he's like, uh, just been it's like, no, days lately. Make your I mind don't know up, what bro. It is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, for I'm uh, what time have we got? I was going for five. Uh, there, uh, what me, Root? I've not done any bad guy things, have I? I mean, I've killed a couple of people. Um, I'm swinging it. <laughs> oh, Kenny. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he's, I don't know, he's, um, 
I understand. Like, he may act differently. If he didn't have a wife and a young son with him, he was just there as a, so a solo survivor as part of the group. He may not be making wild decisions, but if we go back through... Right, so there he hesitated um, to help out Lee. He was just kind of like, just let us go on with it. He didn't really do anything. It's like, come on, bro. Sort your life out. He, um... Although I actually agree with this decision, uh, that girl who was getting attacked by walkers, he was like, ah, oh, just leave her. I that Technically, I agree with that, and I would do the same, but his, like, casualness of it, he's just like, ah, oh, no, it doesn't matter. It's like that. She's in pain and terrified and... You know, that's awful. He didn't seem, like, affected by it. He's, like, not bothered by that fact. Um, Larry was an absolute asshole. But Kenny did technically just murder him. See how quickly he was, you know, he's like, oh, he's having a heart attack. And Kenny's like, oh, well, he's obviously dead. We better kill him. We better, we better smash his head. In. We, he's not dead yet, Kenny. Yeah, but he's going to be. He's going to be. It's almost like Kenny's like... <laughs> Oh, this is an excellent opportunity. Talk about silver lining. We get to kill Barry. <laughs> it's like, bro. And the fact that he, he's got very strong opinions about what we should be doing, which a lot of it seems to be right, but he's so antagonistic. He's like, ah, I'm right. My fucking family. Rah, rah, rah. He was like, oh, give me a hand, Lee. I've got you. Are you sure you've got, you, you got us, Kenny? I've definitely got you. I've definitely got you, Lee. Oops, no, sorry, I didn't. And he's like, no, no apology. No, like, I'm like, I'd feel terrible if I said to someone to that. Hey, grab my hand, I'll pull you up. And they say, is, are you sure? Are you sure? I'll be like, hmm, oh, well, I've never really done this before. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty strong. I can't offer you 100%, but I don't know what else I'm going to do in this situation. I'm like, yeah, I've got you, bro. Oh, no, I slipped and I dropped you and you cracked your head on the windscreen there. Uh, I'm not going to apologise or even p reference it. Yeah, Kenny's... You know, I don't know. There's a bunch of other stuff, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff that happened since we started yesterday that... Right, Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. 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 He's a... <laughs> but he is quite... He is quite smart and he is quite capable as well. So he's... It's like, oh, it's like, he's a tricky ally. He's like, he's useful to have around, but also when the shit is going to hit the fan, he's going to drop us. He's going to be like, eh. He's not going to be too concerned. I feel, oh my God. Um, do you reckon, Rue, that if he did, yeah, he'd be more of a coward. He'd just be a, like, um, you know, he's, t he's taking a lot, a lot of risks and stepping up to the plate. But that's because of he, 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 the fear of anything happening to his uh, s wife and son is worse, you know, more in, more overriding than his own fear. So if he was on his own, you act. That's a good point, Rue. He'd probably be a bit more like, eh, "I'm not going out to get supplies. I'm not going to do any of this. I'm not going to do that." Possibly, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, guys, yeah, I'm uh, about to spring a leak, and as it's five o'clock. Uh, we'll take our midstream break right here. Um, sorry to spin dash to keep you waiting on that. I don't know when the next uh, um, binary uh, forced binary choice is going to pop up. Um, I did give you your points back though, so if you uh, if you are around, do get that in again when uh, um, that pops up again. But I'm not. I'll say I'll, it's been a little while. It's been a good few years since I last played this. But um, yeah, that's a, that's the thing, Rue. It's like. It's such a precarious situation. Um, but like we were saying earlier about the survival aspect, it's like everyone has to obviously pull their weight. You know, everyone, every individual needs a certain amount of resources to survive. And every, whatever the group effort is, the group that you're part of, you know, everyone has to put, pull their weight and put the same amount of effort in to help the group. But, if you can sense from somebody's personality that even if things are okay now, you can think of various scenarios where that person may not step up to the plate, may not be willing to risk themselves for the group, may not be willing to, you know, even just betray the group 
if their own life is on the line. Um, you know, it's a, you know, it's a tricky. And some people might take the stance of, um, well, screw everybody. I can't trust anybody. I'm just going to do the best I can on my own. You got well, you just do that forever. I survived in the Walking Dead zombie apocalypse for sixty years. I'm, I'm, and I'm an old man. I'm about to die. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at some level, you need some amount of people. Maybe you don't want to be part of like a, a group of a hundred. Maybe you don't want to be part of a group of ten. But you, I feel like just being absolutely solo while you're avoiding that uh, as, you know you're not going to be betrayed when you're on your own you're not going to have people screw you over um but of course you've got to do everything on your own then it's hard to find the balance um but kenny it's i don't know i don't see uh <laughs> kenny might be useful for the uh and reliable for the short term but there is there's no I don't see there being a, any a future like is Kenny going to be still be our buddy and buddy and reliable like a year from now a five years from now like the fact that we have to leave the motel eventually Kenny has to no longer be part of our survival group eventually and if you know that, then on some, you know, you kind of subconsciously, you know that maybe that should be like sooner rather than later. I don't know. Katya's lovely. She she hasn't put a, apart from maybe marrying Kenny, she hasn't done anything wrong at all. <laughs> and Duck, while you know he's he's more of a liability than anything, but he's innocent. He's a child like Clem. He can't really you know it's not his fault anyway I've, I've jabbered enough there i hope you don't mind i know you don't mind uh but anyway i'm gonna go take a three minute break empty off make coffee and then we'll uh make some progress in in episode three some kind of, some kind of plan
Right, sorry to keep you waiting there, guys. Um, yeah, Rue. Um, because obviously, he, he, I believe he's correct, and it's better to move and just strike out and see what you can find than just to remain there when you've got like bandits like living nearby. But um, you know, if he felt strongly enough about it, he could be like, you could just be like, I'm taking cat, yeah, I'm taking duck. I think I'm the one who has fixed this RV. I'm going. And Lily's like, well, we're not. And then everybody else can make their decision. You know, Kenny doesn't need everybody else to get on board with his plan, does he? They can't stop him, and they've got, like, no real right to. Oh, you're not allowed to leave. You have to stay here. Well, no. Um, but he's, he's he, you know, he's like, wants everyone to come with. But Yeah. He, there is uh, an underhanded cowardice to him, I feel. We'll have to just keep an eye on him. Anyway. Let's uh let's uh let's check with Clem. Check in with Clem first. How are you doing? Hey Clementine. Hey Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Oh, cool. See, it's the same. Um Kind of. Yeah. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you too. Oh, bless. <laughs> bless. Do you like it here? What a stupid question. Do you but... like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Yeah. Um, no, no. Who I knows? Don't know. Maybe if I knew where. Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. Yeah, indeed. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Indeed, would be a good thing to know. Um. All right. Bless her little heart. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Um. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing. And I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Like. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. Oh. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So right. you want me to start one? Uh. I want you to poke around. Okay, so someone's been taking What's some drugs, door? she reckons. I don't know. But, and also changing the, uh, the records. I found this so to tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. I don't think Thank it's full, fully full-blown paranoia. Even if oh, she suspects it. Uh. Jesus, Doc. Uh. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Yeah. <laughs> can I help? What did I just say? No. You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. Uh, That's Robin. I know who it is. Uh, <laughs> um. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. <laughs> yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Uh, duck. <laughs> oh, off you go, Robin. Yeah, okay. That's... It's a lot of circumstantial evidence, though, Lily. Um, like duck's helping, apparently. He's trying to. <laughs> Gimme. 
All right, that's Kenny and Katya. Uh, maybe we'll come back to them in a second. That's that gate. Not much of one, is it? Oh, we need to get out of this place. Okay, Doug. Doug wouldn't be taking drugs. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Um, what are you working on? Yeah, what's going on, Doug? I'm just trying to focus <clears throat> on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. You're a good guy, Doug. Um, Do you feel safe here? No. Does anybody? Safety has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. Yeah, I mean, all of us. Hotel, <laughs> as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. Uh, well, maybe that. someone convinced them we're worth more alive. Oh, oh. Oh. If someone's skimming our supplies to give to the bandits to leave us alone. You see, Doug, he was like, oh, oh, I can't look you in the eye. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know Toy Story well enough. Is that right, though, Sly? Uh, Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell oh, you... Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh. No, no, I don't. Well, I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. Okay. What do you think about Lily? Doug. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. Mm. I'll catch you later, Doug. I don't know. Doug looked super serially suspicious. I was like, as soon as uh, Lee said, um, you know, like, oh, maybe someone is uh, done something that we're better off alive. He was like, rrr, rrr, no, I'm not looking. I can't. The morality jibber jab. <laughs> Sounds like it's what you're here for, right? Not that I'm one to talk about morality, I but I do like thinking about it. Um. Uh, Benjamin. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Um. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Uh. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. Uh. It's super nice. <laughs> I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is. You feel useful to the group? Uh, what? Useful? Yeah, how's your spirits? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Um. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Hmm. Ben's uh, a little bit nervy, isn't he? But, uh. It's broken, glass. Some broken glass. On the oh. To fit the flashlight, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. There's something drawn there. Oh. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Doc. A clue. Maybe. What do you think?
think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could Maybe be. it is. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. <laughs> Um, now, obviously, it's uh, Clem with the uh, the chalks. Look, she's uh, drawn like all sorts of flowers and suns and leaves and stuff. Oh, no, just random leaves. Okay, she's not drawing those. I thought that was, that's all oh, she'd done all those leaves. <laughs> that's not chalk. Um, but she wouldn't just do a random cross like that. That definitely is like, that's X marks the spot. So maybe we do have a traitor who's skimming supplies, not for themselves, not because they were like a junkie. Like, oh, give me just that sweet, sweet opium. Uh, but they've made some, they've somehow met up with the bandits, made some kind of deal with them. And like, just leave us alone and we'll give you some of our supplies. Uh, and we'll leave them here. And you can just nip over the, that, this little easy little wall there. It would not be hard to go over that in the middle of the night. Get your supplies. Just leave us alone. Um, Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, seems slightly sus. I mean, just go back and speak to Clem about the... Uh, a chalk. Um, Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Mm. Do you want blue? No, no. It's okay. I can literally see a pink chalk. Thanks, though. Me. Never mind that. Um, we found duck. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Wow, Lee, don't be an asshole to him. You give him a high five. Uh, cool. <laughs> bless him. <laughs> bless his little heart. <laughs> um. Yeah, look, check that out. More chalk. Mm, okay. This is, this is starting to be a little bit sus now. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Okay, let's go have a little look then. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. <clears throat> oh. Unless the 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 uh the mark is to um just to like to be on, I, I, you know, just to be a signal. That's not where the supplies are. The supplies are here. If the marks there, they'll say that we've. I've left you some supplies. And they can, yeah, they could easily get there in the middle of the night and not be seen. Oh, son of a bitch! Well, so is a uh, seed to the bad guy in uh, Toy Story. Lily, you're not you wrong. haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Call everyone together right okay. now. We line everybody up. Everybody. Yep. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. Kind you of, Billy. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? Oh. What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, Got better get your out asses there. out here! We ain't fucking around! What do Bandits. we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. 
Okay. Made the biggest mistake of your life. <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit. Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors. Yeah. I mean, there's three of them, Move four of them. It, asshole. Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead. Yeah, we someone stitch us up. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro. Christ! Oh, shit! Nice shot. Yeah, Doug, do it! <gasps> oh, Doug! Good job, buddy. Oh, just shoot him in the ass. <laughs> oh, fuck. Get back there. Smoke him out. We oh, gotta get out oh of here. my God. Oh, shit. Get those bastards. Cover our people and get them to the RV. Go around, shit, for brains. He's back there. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, I guess that worked. Now, get over here, hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Hide at me! Help! Katya, hang on! Oh my god. Uh. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your asses around behind. Thankfully, this is not uh, a first first person shooter, but. <laughs> gotcha. Hurry, come on! Oh, plenty of bullets. Clint, get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! It's not gonna be okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, Christ. Oof. I was lucky. Jeez Louise. Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Please, Walker. Shit. Kenny, hurry up with that thing. Right side. Walker's on the right. Watch the right. Try and watch the left as well, bro. Three left. Thankfully, I've got infinite bullets, seemingly. Chance, get down here. Shit. Come on, Lily. Oof. Oh, my God. Cash. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm freaking out, Ben. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. <laughs> I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. No, they it's not, a Kenny. Of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. Not you, is Good. it, Doug? Ben. I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? No, he wasn't a plant, that's Lily. logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Ben's a good guy. Totally. Well, then who? Being a good guy is enough to clear your name on No. Let's do it. Really honest. I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. You have evidence? No, 
Not here, but Lee found the meds. We found an entire signaling system. Doug's right. Let's just settle down, down for down now. We can talk this out Let's like get where we're going, Lily, Why and then we'll. Someone who almost killed us the opportunity. Lee, you know what we found. Yes, just but let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. What? Good. That sounds great. What? Lily, look at him. I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me He's in the dog. eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I. Uh. Shit. What's going on up there? Jesus, I Kenny. hit something. We gotta stop. All right. Well, we can deal with this now then. Okay. Yeah. Let's just take a. Jimmy. Let's take five Jimmy. minutes and just take a freaking Jimmy. breath. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Yeah. Come on. Okay, do be careful though. No, it's just, it's just that one walker underneath that's moaning. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. Your first regret. You you Everyone happy everything that happened up to this point? You know what? We shouldn't just kick Fucking you out. Thing we should hear half. what everybody thinks. I think thinks. you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. I don't think it was Ben. It was, it was somebody else. Could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. No, okay, not really, fine, but... Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just... Stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Ha, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine. Yeah, don't anything. freak out if you're not really doing it. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? This is not evidence, evidence not, This isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, what are you even doing that, Kenny? You have until Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No, no if it wasn't. Ben! Lily! This ah, is about trust, and I've go, never trusted shit. you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I Please can't. Please stop. Please don't kick me out of the group. It's Doug, wasn't it? Won't. Tell me. Now. Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. I can't handle this. There, I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Whoa, Lily. You can't just murder people, Lily. Drop it. Away from the I think windows. it was probably dug anyway. Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. All right. And if you'd ask, well, I we haven't got much time. What are we gonna <sighs> do with her? Leave her for the no, walkers. no. She's we're sticking together. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. Yeah, there was a timer on that anyway. Idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm so murdered. are you, Kenny. You've had Lee with you this whole time. Yeah, and Lee, I'm Lee I'm, we're also, he also a murderer. You? <laughs> he killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. This is true. Is that true, Lee? It is. Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever going to get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. I don't have. I don't want to hear left. it from either of you. Just get in. What time? Doug is dead. Then I guess. But Lily was literally about to execute Ben. And Doug saved his life and took the bullet. 
I can just felt guilty. I reckon Please? it was Doug. I don't know. I survive I'll get. Okay, I'll speak to Katya first. Is she? I'll speak to you in a minute. Clem. What's up? Is Doug feeling all right? Oh, did oh, Duck get bitten? Fuck. Oh my god. During the raid. <sighs> He's gonna turn. We don't know that. Gotcha. What do we really know? None of us have been bitten. We don't know what the time frame is for a child. We know nothing. Mm. She's kind of I'm point. going to monitor him and focus on the wound and see if his condition changes. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, <sighs> we would appreciate it. Or tell Clem that Duck might be turning to a zombie soon. A zombie Duck. Hey, Dinakuma, you well. We should tell everybody. I, I kind of I, I appreciate what they're saying. But, um... Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. Oh, bless. What about Doug? Uh, um. There's nothing to say. It's horrible. I'm sorry if no, I. No, you don't apologize. You had nothing to do with it, sweet pea. My brother almost died once. But he lived? Oh, yeah. It was scary, though. Uh, I don't know why we'd uh, not tell her the story. Um This one time these boys from the other side of town were hassling him. He was on his bike and they were in a truck throwing things at him, calling their names, stuff like that. And this tough son of a gun, he, he pedals up after him, he catches him, he pulls his bike up alongside the truck and jumps into the back and starts beating on him. Damn. Teaches all these brothers are badass. Him, the truck's still moving, you see. Just as he stands up to jump out, it zooms underneath a tree and a branch hits him square in the face and he goes flying out the back. Damn. Hey, if, if he can live through that, I'm sure Duck can live through this. Uh, we don't know that automatically getting bitten turns you. We know that if you die, you turn and that getting bitten exacerbates it. But can you get bitten and just not turn because it didn't kill you. I feel that's not the case. I feel Duck is fucked, but... Fuck! What happened? Sweet shit! Get off of me! Oh, dear. Oh, it's a nightmare, I was going to say. <laughs> got something up ahead. A Clem zombie. That's not good. Roads blocked. Okay, well, let's take a minute. Now we gotta deal with this. You never even finished the season. I'll tell you this the first time I played it, and I don't want to give anything away. No spoilers, please. Anyone who knows. Um, the ending of the season one, it got me in the feels quite badly. Um, and it, yeah, and obviously the whole series is just every. It just moments of quiet like now goes to extreme intensity and it's just Is there any way to get around it it's always doesn't look like it's anxiety it. inducing foot, maybe can't really afford to do that now this seems like a safe area all this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us and i'd like everyone out of the rv except her i don't want folks trapped in there with her <laughs> she's kind of snapped but we can't just i don't know 
Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? Yeah, but still have a bottle of water right, running around. Inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. <laughs> I, I, I. Okay, we're, um... Let's talk to Ben quickly. Are you alright, bro? You almost got murdered. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? No. It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lemmy? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah. yeah you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. I've got to ask, Ben. Don't freak out, bro. Um, um, probably not, uh, Cage. Just because, and you've, and if you, if anyone who is uh, an ardent uh, viewer of the Snip Show, you wait, you may have seen me cry before now. Anyway, it's happened before. Uh, if you missed it, uh, then you know, so so be it. Um, I because I know what's coming, going to happen. And what's coming up? I uh, I would say probably not Cage. I'm just getting I'm just too jaded in my old age. Um, but um, you know I don't know. You never know, do you? Um, so Ben, I'm so sorry, but I do have to ask. He's gonna no. But was it you? Not this again. Was it? No. Okay, it was Doug. Okay, I bet you it was Doug. All right. Okay, he's like. Meh. Okay. Um. Can we uh, just have a word with Lily? A pencil. Sharpen, too. Oh, okay. I don't know what I need a pencil for, but... You're not going to get that in a... I'm leaving. Wow, Neither okay. You. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. What? No, don't do that, Lily. No way. Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. What? Lily. Lily. Oh, wow, shit. you She's bitch. Stealing the RV. Come back here, you crazy bitch! Wow, that's Stop cold. It. Stop! That's cold. We could have abandoned her. And I chose to step in and vouch for her and, and not abandon her. But then she goes and abandons us like two hours later. Let's focus on the train. Wow. Oh, I have seen Toy Story. Sly. I well, saw it wasn't released at the cinema. I just don't remember works. it all. Can't spend the night out here. I don't like remember the story or any of the characters or anything. I, you know, obviously I know uh, Buzz Duck and Woody. Sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Mr. Potato Head, and there's like a a cow cowardly dinosaur. That's one hell of a mess. Lily. If we ever cross paths with her again, she... I don't know. What the f... Seriously. What a bitch. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? Oh, have we? Have we? So, I don't, think I don't remember what good. I've chosen to do previously, I but... Either. I don't... I'm just trying to... Every situation, just make the best of every given uh, instance, don't you? I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> that's very pragmatic, Kenny. <laughs> How's Duck? 
Yeah, that good, eh? That good. Tired, which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah, his body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Doug. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. It's just such a waste. He was a good guy. I liked him very much. Unless he was selling us out. Time in Belgium. Where your family's from. Yes. Even further away now. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Yeah, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar's safe enough to sleep in. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. It, I, I know it's like a classic uh, slide. I'm just not really into like Disney stuff. Honestly, it's not. It doesn't like really do much for me. Um. Doors closed. Oh, let's open the door then, Lee. Be careful, buddy. Okay. Oh. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Mm. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. That clipboard. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Okay, so we could get the train working. We just ride the train to, uh... Oh, there we go. Bottle of water. I'll nice. take this to Kendra for Doug. Oh, this, if, in a whole bottle of water, I think everyone can have a sip of that, yeah? Uh, no, that crazy camera lady's dead, uh, Akuma. Might be something inside. Right, shame Doug's dead. Nothing. Okay. I, want, I mean, I wonder what happens if you like, say to Lily, like, okay, yeah, cool, Lily, let's, uh, let's, I'll, I'll go with you. We should abandon everyone. <laughs> oh. Spike remover. Spanner. And monkey wrench. It's going to be one of these ones where I can only, like, take one at a time. Either way, these would make excellent weapons. Yeah, okay, I'll see. Okay, I don't know which, uh, which of those three I actually need at the minute. Nothing? Okay. Scoo! Uh... Yeah, it, it's, yeah, that's one way of putting it. That's one way of putting it, Scoo. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Are you well? How's your day? Oh. Oh. Potential zombie. We got one. Walk uh, maybe. Sit in the chair. We got him. Might already be dead. 
Uh, oh, can we not back out of this? We're going to smack him in the head with a spanner. Yeah, I definitely don't want to uh, use a bullet, do we? Oh. Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. <laughs> How random. <laughs> yeah, I think this, of the those four, the the uh, spanner's probably the of those four, those three uh, tools. The spanner's probably the worst. But... We don't want the monkey wrench, I imagine. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. Yeah, no, he was just he died straight away. Okay. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? No. Yeah, look. He just does it. <laughs> it's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Yeah, uh, You, you like to do that, Kenny. Try to get this thing other people, don't you? It's gotta be some sort of manual or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. <laughs> ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd Couldn't be back today. It's I'm going to make Excellent. sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Could be. It's a bunch of papers. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Poor guy. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. And it's gone. <laughs> pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Ah. Uh, we'll do a robin, haven't we? What a lunch. Ugh. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Maybe. Right, engine size six. Little switches. Big switches. Little switches. Five, nine, nine. Okay. Ah, okay. They're all together, aren't they? They're numbered. Okay. Although. Oh, this is. Ah, this is six, right? Right, so down, down, up, 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 down, up. Right. So there's two, all right. Let's just switch that up. Switch that up. I think it's up, up, down, up. Was it? Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. Um, let's see it next five. So, uh, horizontal and vertical. Now we're talking. Um, what was next? It was outside, wasn't it? All right, nine. So, nine, we need to flip it to the uh, left and then to the right. Okay. Um, before we do that, I want to just kind of like look around the rest of the train and maybe give this bottle of water to uh, Katya. Yeah. I don't know if it gets, gets forgotten about. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It yep. doesn't. I know. Well... I don't, but you're probably right. Mm. 
and okay that was that there oh, okay so this is actually the, the other side so let me jump jump down to the other side of the train see if there's anything hanging around well uh okay we can climb on top of the train ah unhook the cars okay it's stuck i can definitely pry this thing free if i can break it loose first interesting shit broken okay i guess i need something other than this spanner right um yeah <laughs> okay my zombies <laughs> Yeah, good thing, isn't it? It's a good thing. Can you? I mean, can, can you imagine zombies? And then all we've got to do is they're just coming after you, and they just sting you, and then you're screwed. That's one hell of a mess. Okay. Let's get the engine started. Then presumably got to also uh, get this tool going. Is this one? Engine ready. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll go that way. Low oil. That's not good. And then that way. Oh. Holy shit! We're golden. Hmm. <laughs> Can't. I'm not saying we're good. Um. Yeah, we are golden feels good let's fucking enjoy this mum let's see if she'll move yeah no we've got to uh, release the car back there haven't we first um there's no point in mentioning duckmore is there because obviously um now uh, a spike remover i guess that's what we need right This is, and this is the uh, the monkey wrench, but I mean, this is it, it, this this is the spike remover for um, is that for la laying the actual train track? I don't know. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Uh, let's go. Yeah, look, if they can make a, a whole series about shark nados, I'm sure you can make a whole series of movies about uh. Zombies. Okay, no. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Oh, unless we have to like get the train started to put a bit of uh tension on it. thing is technically b in a, i guess it would never happen but in a technical sense bees would because i'm pretty sure you see oh no actually hang on thinking about it no you don't animals don't it's only humans that can turn into zombies isn't it animals can't i'm pretty Dollars. sure i mean Give it a go. There we go. Damn it. Of course. We're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Can you do something useful, Kenny? No, you can't. Okay, let's hit the monkey wrench then. Unless it doesn't matter. I don't know. tried the other two so far so no no screw I, I wasn't sure for a second I was thinking there's 
spoiler alert uh this in the tv show there's a point like much later on where they like get attacked by some wild dogs and i was trying to remember if they were zombie dogs but they are uh, they were not they're just rabid wild dogs okay here we go there hey kenny we're loose You touch any of my stuff? Yeah. Yes. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got them all right up here. Okay. I guess it's no worse for wear. Thanks, right. Chuck. All right, Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. I'm not fancy. Please. Chuck does. That your crew outside? Yep. Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're mm. still kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Strange folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. Yep. He gave us candy, Ben too. Yep. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like candy? You have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. And that's very kind of you, just to be dishing it out. Uh. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. Mm. You don't know about I that. I can offer Chuck. you all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Yeah. Do as, do as your missus tells you, Kenny. Yeah, well, you're not going to... He seems reasonable if he wants to come with us. I mean... I mean... Has he just been hanging here since it's all kicked off? That he's... He's, uh... I mean, if you, <laughs> No one's carrying around a guitar for survival purposes, aren't they? Um... Uh, yo, Joel! How you doing, buddy? You driving around for, for work? Well, I hope you're well. Uh, gross noises for me, uh, Joel. Oh, Joel! Oh, oh, Joel! Uh, uh, was that any good? <laughs> you have to clip it. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's, um... I mean, I don't know. Glenn was fine. He, the only problem with Glenn, he was just so like, oh, you we'll got a boyfriend. <laughs> Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. All right, so that's the plan, is it? Get to Savannah. Now, apparently, Kenny has right. a boat in Savannah. Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. I <laughs> find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Sick. Oh, that's the, the background there. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do about? Getting sicker. Yeah, Let ain't getting better. Know. Um. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Okay, I mean... Could be worse. Uh... Nah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Joel does that to me. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do about it. 
Um, <laughs> exactly. Oh my God, Joel. Yeah, we we uh, recently played the South Park, the Stick of Truth. I don't know if you ever played that, Joel. I know I've uh, Scotty said you were a fan. Told me you were a fan of South Park. Highly recommended. It is insanely ridiculous. Uh, you know, it's just like it's like being in South Park. All right, okay, we're going. Let's go. We got a new friend Chuck. I wonder if we'll ever see Lily again. I guess maybe that's the end of Lily. We never. Does she live? Does she die? Does she become the Empress of the World? I don't. Is she like dead? Is she already dead? Uh, we don't know, do we? Um. Yeah, yeah, Joe. I thought so. Yeah, we we enjoyed it. I I, I played it when it was released, but uh, it's good to get back to it. Poots uh, chose it for us, and uh, it's not a long game. We I think we only got like it's eleven, twelve hours playthrough, but um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Oh my god, it was so satisfying smashing zombies on this train. Duck. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Not looking too good. Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. Yeah. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Um. Lee. Not that. Oh my God. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's trying to nibble me, are you? I mean, he's choking out he's blood out like of that. Time. We need to stop this train. Yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah. Cat understands. Um, no point in talking to anyone else here. We've got to get this underway. Yeah, he was. He was. Especially when he was like being our little, uh, little Robin to our Batman. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son. Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You Fuck you, listen. Kenny. Or what? Calm down and how the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? No. Yeah. By talking to your friend. Um You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. A bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. No. I you know that. Stop the train, man. Okay, I'm glad we didn't come to fisty cuffs, Kenny.
we have to deal with this situation. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's a hypocrite, isn't he, Rue? He, from an emotional point of view, he's not... He's, he, 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 his emotions control him, not the other way around. Um, he didn't hesitate. He's like, oh, looks like Lara is going to be a walker. Squish. I think it's time. And I was like, oh, looks like my son's going to be a walker. I guess we'll just hang out with him. We'll just keep him with us. <laughs> the boy's been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. Yeah, no, they figured it out. Oh. Um. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. No, I meant like when you take him into the woods and dispose of him. Do? You don't have to hurry back. We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. Indeed. But no. He's almost there. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him Stop it. no kenny just drift off to sleep right hun i mean jesus this is our son i know but we know it's here or nothing oh, fuck just who then you want me to you don't have to i'll do it no it should be a parent no parent should have to do something like this please right cat we can say our goodbyes and just let that be it I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this. God damn, this is intense. <laughs> Why don't the music's uh, hitting as well? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, duck. What's happening? There you go, Clem. Duck. Um, duck is dying. I know. Bless. What are you doing? Um. I'm killing him. Yeah. For good? Yeah. Yes. So he doesn't come back. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. They did it already. I thought we were going to take care of it. Oh, shit. Yes, yes. Gotcha. Cat just suicide herself. Oh, my God. Why, cat? Honey, oh fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. That's from bad to us. Oh my god. I. I. And she was just like, well, if ducks die, I don't want to be alive either. Heavy, 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 heavy. Um, yeah, Root, yeah. She did. That's exactly what she said. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Damn, Kenny. He is a pain in the ass, but losing his son and his wife 
like like <laughs> right away like this is rough oh duck I got to end you buddy sorry buddy look away guys We're about to shoot a child in the head damn really Joel Come on, let's get out of here, Kenny. I thought it's good. I've, I've played a bit of it, but it, it was at somebody else's house, so I didn't. I wasn't able to play the whole game. <clears throat> Oof, heavy. At least neither one to come back as zombies. They they might get eat. They make their corpses maybe get numbed on by zombies, but they themselves are not going to be zombies. So some kind of small relief in that god we we our group soon got whittled down so it's clem lee kenny ben and our new member chuck it's like you know game one lose t eight so this <laughs> Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. What the fuck he did? Swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey, how you doing? Um. I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Go, she is. You don't know that. I mean, I everyone, everyone's probably gonna die, but. <laughs> but I can tell you, as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, but y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Um. We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit no. down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Yeah. Um... Yeah, good point. Are you listening to me? Yeah. For fuck's sake, I shouldn't even have to be telling you this. True. Find some scissors in my pack and take care it's, of that hair. It's been a bit busy recently. You. We have been and sat in the motel for three, three months, months doing nothing. Like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay, we right, do I'll indeed. Do what you're saying. Yeah. You're gonna live with the consequences either way. Yeah. This is true. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Um. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Yeah. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. He's safe up here. You bet. I don't need to point out that he's homeless. And I don't need to really, uh,. Be like, brag to him that we shot Duck. <laughs> no, got to have a musician. Yeah, Kuma, you know it. <laughs> Very important. Um, Chuck seems all right, but and he seems kind of wise, but uh, we'll have to wait till we get there and see what the plan is. He might not want to stay with us. and We can't, like, force him, obviously. Even though it might be better for us if he does. Um, um, OK. 
Okay, I'm not going to worry about Kenny at the minute. Although, you know, he doesn't. He, what was I supposed to say to him? Sorry. And Ben. Right, let's uh, let's help Clem. As best as we can. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh. He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Um. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Um. When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Not in target practice. It's one thing to sure. try to I'll use a gun, hands. but um. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. No, it's a waste of a bullet, nice surely. Easy. Nice and easy. You okay? I don't know how many bullets have they got. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Uh, if we've got, if we've got spare rounds, I guess. Um. Close. Now keep it steady. I can't tell where we're firing. Has it got to be relative to where? Uh, it was. Okay, a little higher. Okay, not that high. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim a lower. There we go. Okay. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. I guess uh, that's the one thing they must have. They must have plenty of ammo then, because you would not be using live rounds on target practice. Um, a bit right. to the right. A bit right. And a bit lower. A little bit lower. Okay. There you go. Nice. Thank God we've got all these uh, empty bottles here. And no one's freaking out running back here hearing these gunshots. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Right. Okay. She's got a, a bit of a handle on uh, how to use a gun. Um, yeah. No. It's like I understand that, you know, you need to learn Sku, but using live ammunition for target practice is a terrible idea you would need so much ammo uh you would like need kind of like um some kind of like uh military like depot at, at, you know access to that before you could feel that you would use live rounds for target practice but yeah i don't know it, it is what it is um My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... <laughs> get used to it. 
What a crappy day. The crappiest. Yeah, three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I you gonna leave her on her own? Of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. Oh, bless. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I doubt it will be uh, safe. Yeah, no, I would assume not typically. Uh, is, is, is There's some packs. scissors in Chuck's bag. Oh, okay. Cool. They Crazy, chunky up. scissors. All right, haircut time, Clem. Hey, Clem. Hi. So you're probably not going to like this. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Yeah. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? Yeah. I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Mind if we do this now? <clears throat> I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope. Nope. No idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you. I didn't anything. keep it from you, Clem. I, the, the game gave me no opportunity to tell you. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. different but you do it now to protect yourself and to protect me i was sent to jail did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't all the time okay i think i'm about done i can probably tie these pieces back with something here i have some hair thingies you do hair thingies uh, yeah excellent Lily gave them to me for sleeping oh then lily all set silly lily Does uh, it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. <laughs> Her hair is a lot safer. It's good to have safe hair. Go for the safest hair, folks. Just ch ch cut it all off. Um... Why? Wow. Uh, okay, so what else are we looking around at? He's lived here a while. We've got uh, his booze. Nice. Fifth of whiskey. Okay. Hope we're not on this train much longer. Indeed. How you doing, Benjamin? Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Um. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. Yeah. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. So I feel guilty. I, don't <laughs> know I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. See ya. 
Yeah. We can offer him uh, a little uh, snifter of this uh, this booze. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you'd you'd have to, Joel. We'd be trying to grab your hair. That's not just the zombies. Um, hey, hey! It'll be good to get to the water. Um. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. Yeah, we didn't really though. Your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure, Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. All right, Kenny. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Um. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Okay. Yeah. It's the best plan. Yeah, it's not much of a plan, is it? <laughs> We're just gonna sit on, sit out on the uh, ocean forever. You're on a boat. I'm on a boat. Boat. <laughs> Swing. How you doing, Swing? You all right? Um, Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem, so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. I'll reach over you then, Kenny. If, you... if I get by you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Wow. Oh, well, I guess we'll uh, not worry about maps and we'll just have a drink with Chuck then. Get the gym. Excellent. Get after it. There guess there'll be fish to eat. I guess you could fish. This is true, uh, Kuma, if you knew how. Um, uh, no, I've not, Scoo. I don't have anyone else, but I have personally not. I found this if you want it. Uh, it's his, anyway. Didn't realise I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Hell yeah. Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. There we go. That's where I'll, that'll get Kenny out of the way, I guess. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, that'd help. You know, don't go crazy, but also, yeah. quick hey Ben hey see you oh what we can't yeah. <laughs> we can't offer Ben a drink he's, he's not allowed one it was me huh? what I was the one giving the bandits supplies you lied what you ben. lied Ben Push him off the train. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it's all my fault. It, yes, Ben. Yes, it is. Everything that happened is all your fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. They lied to you, the Ben. I realized they didn't. It was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Ben. God damn you, Ben. You little liar, Ben. Little liar. Hey, Clem. There you go, Clem. Look at this map. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is... You and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. 
Uh, look for her parents. Um, we need to help find a boat. It's our mm. best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Yes, they're zombified no, corpses. I'm wondering now. I don't care around. about safety. I care about finding them. Um. Okay. Um. They're dead. We have to move on. They're not dead. No, they are, Do Clem. Do you want them to be? No! Oh my god, I've upset. We're following through with the boat, but we'll look for your parents first. Oh, bless. I'm sorry. But they are dead. Probably, I mean, they might not be. They might survive, but a dad got bit. That's why he's at the hospital. Them, then let's get on the boat. If we do, they can come with us. Agreed. Okay. That's the plan. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, yeah. It's, uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can mm. I tell my parents? You know. Mm. Clem, come on. That's not a good idea. You yes. can't tell me what to do. Ah! No, I, I can't. Talk about it anymore. Okay. Right. How do you feel? Good. Awful. Better. Oh, she was good. <laughs> I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody. No, true, true. A mother might still be alive, but I, th I feel like we just have to assume everybody is dead. Unless you know that somebody's alive, you have to kind of assume that they're. Maybe we could walk. That's fucking stupid, Ben. Uh, I'm just saying. Well, we got to do something, know. Kenny. <laughs> I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's going to explode. You got to get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys yep. gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Um. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. Yeah, true. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Uh, Kenny, you're so... Like, broken. Okay, we've got two random friendly people. It's... They need to announce themselves to us. I come up there. You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Uh, yeah, that seems reasonable. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. I'm Omid. Krista. Krista. Let's deal with the train. We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took a life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! 
What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit. What's your name? Call yourself, buddy. Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? <clears throat> to me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? Um... I came across Let's Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? Uh, yeah, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Um. <sighs> Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. Uh. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. <sighs> right, okay. Omid and Krista. Um, they seem not insane let's go talk to your people man oh me what am i gonna have to tell your people the plan or what i'm just having a, a look this thing is mangled to hell no releasing it no nothing there's no way i'm pulling anything apart down there Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. Okay, quarantine restricted access. Surely, um, they wouldn't have had time to put any signs up or anything. Uh, I've got dead people hanging around. Uh, I've got a generator. It's empty. Ah! <laughs> yeah, no, no killing anybody. Uh, Akuma, we have to let we have to let Root die first. Folks probably had that not, with that not let them die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what have we got here? Anything? Some tape. Let's see how that's gonna help. That's about the only useful thing in here. And even that, I don't know what we need it for. Okay, let's sit back down. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone oh, might want to have a look inside of that station back feeling there, suicidal. Too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Nah. I mean... Maybe I should check out that train station. Uh... That's what here. Are you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Oh, bless you. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. <laughs> you, do, really, you do not have to sacrifice yourself. Whoever, whoever starved to death first is the one that's getting eaten. We're not... We're not, uh... We're not, you know, we're not playing favourites. It's a, you know, it's a, a, it's a democratic cannibal society, okay? Oh, random. Somebody was doing some painting. <coughs> Indeed. Oh, survivors inside. 
Mm. Somebody was doing a lot of painting. But, um... That's not to suggest there is any more they could have left, or maybe they've turned. Okay, we have to assume that maybe there may be zombies in there. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna be prosecuted. Trespassers may be numbed on. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. I can't see in there. Mm. So they were forklift. That things worked in years. Hmm. We'll have to find a way in. Full set? No, that's not right. Won't burn. Ah. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in. <sighs> risky. Um. It's very risky. I could, we could boost her up and she could just have a look. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that yeah, window Yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll climb Sounds through. Good. Just have a look. Let's see what's there. Okay. I can see in. What do I do now? I'll keep my eyeballs on you, Akuma. Um. What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Huh. It's stuck at the top, was it? Damn. Well, I'll be damned. Good job, Clem. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. <clears throat> Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Uh, yeah, so our, uh, wrench, isn't it? Oh, why well, have I got one on a timer? I don't know. Okay. I guess that's fine. Surely it would make more sense for Clem to just hold it open, because we might need that to give a, a little zombie a whack. A blowtorch. Empty shelf. A cage door. Okay, so let's see if we have anything else here. Can we open this? Up good. Okay. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Mm. They didn't have much business back then. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, yeah we are. but we don't assume it's uh, unlocked from the other side. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky yeah. I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Yo, Wolf, how's it going, buddy? Um, I hope you're, uh, I hope you're well today. Okay, I guess you we're boosting okay up going again. Over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. No idea where uh, the keys are. Scoot. Oh, they're behind you, Lee. You. Oh, jeez. How could they not notice? I don't know. Oh, sorry. I was... I was supposed to be moving back while I was doing that. Oh, wow. They've got really, real sharp fingers to the zombies. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on. Scoot. I don't know how they would get that close without hearing anything, but... Oh, yeah. 
Clem's the gun went under behind Clem. Okay. Yeah. Grab that. Grab it. Here we go. Nice. There we go. Now finish him off, Lee, because they're probably not dead, mate. The music stopped. And it's better to yeah, you can't it's better that you didn't it's okay, fire. It's okay. Everything's fine. It's yeah, you didn't have a clean shot there, Clem, so you don't want to beat yourself up. Alright, you're the solo cannibal, are you? Jeez, now Oh dear. Fuck, it's still locked. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's quite loud. <laughs> um, oh sorry, you infiltrate a group to cannibalize them. You're just in it's it for okay, yourself to okay. eat human flesh, Akuma. I mean, you told us now, so I'll make sure, you know, you're not joining us. So, you know. Jeez, now! go so good no it did not go so good but we're okay everything's okay until the next time what's going on i thought i heard a gunshot we're fine we found some walkers you and an eight-year-old versus three of them huh yes Team. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? Then we'd be dead. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I <laughs> hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Yeah, of course. I'm doing what. <laughs> I'm doing my best deal. I think I think Clem would rather have Lee around than not have Lee around, you, Christo. You, you know, I'm gonna tell you and admonish you, but there we go. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. Yeah, what let's. I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Bless. Yeah, walk is scary. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's just, um... I don't know, it's because of a weird situation, isn't it? She doesn't have I a parent, a blowtorch so. in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Okay, all right, I mean... So I guess we just cut through this. Just oh, what's that? What's Ben doing up there? Just keep an eye out, I guess. Okay, does everyone stand back? I mean, this might just fall down and just block the 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 uh, rail Shit. track anyway. What's up? 
The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Type. Hope there's holes. Okay, let's try again. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh. oh, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. You want to like tell everyone down there to? Are oh, we asking? Uh, I mean to do it for us. He <laughs> kind of saved us then. I can't reach it now. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are. God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Good luck look out there, Ben. He's just like, oh. Oh, zombies. Why well, there's a herd there, I don't know. Guys! There's something coming! There's something. <laughs> must be thousands. We gotta go! You gotta calm Fuck. down, oh, Ben. Cut! Cut! I am. It's going. Pull me up. Can he go? Oh Shit. dear. What the hell do we do now? We run over here. We gotta jump. What? No way. That's why. Jump. No. Jump, damn it. Still no. Okay. Fine. Stay here. <laughs> well. ah. Oh my god. Shit. I meet. I suppose it could have happened to anyone, but. Oh, God. I grabbed whoever was there, Krista. Yeah, what the hell? I was just trying to grab anyone. Calm yourself. I wasn't, wasn't like... You were the closest. I wasn't, like... Wasting a second to think about it. That was a lot there. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. I mean, it is. For yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Maybe I guess you could maybe have pushed off the uh, the blowtorch, and that would have made some kind of explosion. But I don't know that, that would have helped. It might have killed some walkers, but it wouldn't have helped us get away. It might have actually been dangerous for us. It would have drawn more walkers from further away, and but. I'm gonna picture Kenny. She's drawn. <laughs> now we did on time. We've still got two hours left. I'll need to nip out in a second. Oh, excuse me. Any. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. Um. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart blood in my brain at least I'll leave you to your thoughts she's out cold like I've never seen 
Oh, hello. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Some creepy well, guy. It sounds like somebody has been knows talking to headed. talking to Clem. Who the fuck? And he's claiming he's know. got Clem's parents there. Won't be happy when we find out. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, Kenny. Yeah, we need to have a chat with Clem since she wakes up. A creepy lying person has been creepily lying to you. Yeah, we don't need the next time. Uh, there we go. That's the end of chapter three, uh, of episode three. Episode four, around every corner. It's like Lee, Crystal, and Kenny there down uh, underground. Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit. She's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find Heavy. a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. Liar. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, <laughs> the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Creepy person. I'll nip out. I'll wait for the opening cut scene. And then uh, I'll run away for a minute. That should be me good for the uh, rest of the stream. I think it's uh, six episodes, but yeah, it might be five. I don't know. I could have got it wrong. It could be five. I think it's six. Oh, no. But yeah, it's the beginning of episode four. A lot has happened. Oh, God. Well, yeah, Savannah's not looking too good, is it? Have we had a conversation about this yet? Can't I just hold it? Um. Just for a little while. We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Um. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Oh. Maybe ringing. this city's not so dead after all. Ringing Keep the church moving. Bell. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. Mm. 
You don't what know kind that. of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Yeah. Somebody's ringing that. Oh, ah, somebody up there. Someone's up there. Yeah. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! Okay, well that bell is going to be bringing the, the, the walkers in essence. We need to move. What the move. hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Yes. Sounded more like a warning. Mm. Ask not for Same thing. the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Damn. Is that right, Scoop? Okay. Everybody, run! Too close, don't you think? Ben! Uh, you've abandoned no, us before ben, now. Help her! Ben? Benjamin? God damn it! Oh, jeez. right up ahead that's not all oh give me a fucking break wait yeah. where the hell is chuck oh chuck shit he's in trouble we gotta help him have you got enough rounds there's no time we gotta go now i'll be fine just go mm, i don't think you're gonna be fine chuck but Oh my god. You hated him, did you, Wolf? <laughs> he's alright, but he's just I'll get the door. He's 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 wishy washy and he and he also betrayed us. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Mead's leg just lost a few more hit points though. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. We've got our wrench, have we? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Not right, this one. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks okay. pretty solid. And about what happened back there on the street? I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Uh. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm going to go check things out. All right. Um. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I'll probably take a... Uh... Looks like something was buried here. Oh, okay. Just yeah. Dog uh, house. The, the dead dog guy or something that was, that was buried here. Ah. We're digging up a dead dog. Why are we going to do that? Shovel is never not useful. Oh, indeed. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Is there going to dig up a dead dog? Why, why are we even doing this? I don't know. I think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find our way into that house first. Or even at all. <laughs> Alright, can we... Shuffle the door open? Only will be able to bust through that. Only am will be able to bust through that. No, indeed. Anyway. I'm going to step out for one minute, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, no, uh, Sea Star. Are you doing Sea Star? Are you well? No, I've never, I've never had a pet dog, unfortunately. It's very unfortunate. Um, but uh, how you doing? Are you, are you well, my dear? Oh yeah, sorry, Root. I never actually asked you how you were doing because you were feeling rough yesterday, weren't you? Okay, you better than you were though. Yeah, Akuma's threatened to eat people. Uh, he's told us that, uh, that his plan, though, so, you know, stay away from him. <laughs> um, but, yeah, how, how you doing, Seastar? Uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's talk to Kenny for a minute. Hey. How you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. No, indeed. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Oh. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. 
I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. No. All right, so where's the dog? The dog is dead. So now we're digging him up. Oh, poor dog guy. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the other times I used to dig up dead things, it was fine. I mean, but yeah, good point. <laughs> What's buried down there? The dog guy. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh. Sorry. Sorry for that. I just... I don't care that she looks at a gross dead dog. It's just... It might be a freaking zombie dog. We don't... Oh, God. The smell. We don't know, do we? I'm just concerned for her safety. Ugh. On a gross spot. I can't get it off. Okay. Oh, okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are yeah. you okay? You're pretty nasty. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're I said I'm fine, okay? Okay, that's gonna know that open that up for us, but surely we're gonna need to... Uh... A small person to scramble through. Nothing. Yeah, 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 Rue. <laughs> he had yes! a buckle. <laughs> God damn! Just unbuckle it, but you know. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem, what do you see in there? Got some initiative. Ta da! Yeah. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. <sighs> Looks uh, okay Scoo. from here. Take care, Everybody buddy. In. I'll see you soon. How long we got? We've got about an hour and 40 minutes here, folks. I don't know if that's enough time for us to complete the whole... Uh, well, you might complete this chapter. I don't know. This episode. We're not wrapping up the whole season today, I don't think. We'll be back on it tomorrow, though. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. No, there's a lot going on. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. Mm. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever Good was point. on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Mm. How much sense. sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. 
Um. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. <sighs> Here's the thing. Uh, either there's boats there, or there's not Place boats there. At least. I'll feel better when An extra day or two in this situation doesn't make any difference. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's not Black Friday sale on boats. It, you know, if there's some there and they'll I be there for the next five years, or door. they're all gone already. I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Oh, okay, that's where we came in the backyard. Okay, I guess we'll check everything while we're here. All empty. Yep. Nothing. Nope. Water's off. No power. Uh, not what I expected there would be. Walter. No. Oh. Oh, well, uh. <sighs> Nothing. All cleaned out. Uh, so what's that? Did I miss something? Eh? Um. So you got what's the? <laughs> So see, so you got kicked out of the shop, the store. What? What happened? Uh. Yeah, we, unfortunately, we don't have places like that over here in the UK. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, indeed, they would be. Yeah. Kumi doesn't care about this thing, so does he? Um. <laughs> uh. Dog food. If I mean, if you needed to, better than eating human flesh. I know Akuma will disagree, but. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Have a little I'm sample. Not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Have a little sample, Lee. Might be all right. Might be tasty. Must have stopped working a while ago. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. How's it coming? All that they would need or want to. Probably not the best idea right now. No. I need to stay frosty. But you know, good to know that there's uh we can get get drunk later if uh if it's appropriate to do so. Not exactly my style. Poor family. They're probably all deaded. Nothing hiding in here. All clear in here. Just one more. Yeah, eventually, check. eventually, uh, Akuma, you'd uh, you'd run out of food, but I mean, it depends how many of you there were and how stocked the place was. You might actually not run out of food.
What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Just Jesus throwing things around. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. Could maybe clean his wound with alcohol? I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny. What's going What are you doing now, Kenny? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Okay, so have you gone up? Stay here. No, I'm too scared to do that. I want you to do it, Lee. Kenny? Oh dear. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Zombie child. It's just presumably his family's son, and obviously that's why he's freaked out because. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? Right, obviously he's starved to death. It's just a kid. What the hell his zombie happened? arms and legs are so weak. Nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here, starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. That's right, I'll do it. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? Yes. I guess we'll find out. Well, you should walk away. Uh, I'm using the gun, right? This must have been where he slept. Bless him. It will add. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. What a way to live. What a way to die. All that day. He probably died of dehydration before we You know, started. um... Damn. We know that we were at the motel for like three months, they said. So if we had, like, tackle an extra month for stuff that happened before and stuff that happened since... You know, I guess the... the the uh the, the zombie apocalypse has uh been got probably going on about four months okay. now at this point tried to hide out up here until he starved to death oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did um from the wrench we need to save a bullet yeah look away Kenny Go on, buddy. Look away. Get out of here. I'm sorry. Poor kid. I mean, it's not a zombie. It's not a zombie now. We should bury him. Excellent. Rate. I'll I'll, take care I, don't know, I don't know what skills I would have, but thank you for the luck. 
Yeah, take an actual lunch break. Do that. <laughs> So, I don't know what happens to the parents, but... I'm gonna bury him with his dog guy. Okay. That's... That's, that's the best we got. Why is only in his uh his pants? I don't know, but maybe it's just real hot in the attic. So he's stripped down. And I I kind of get the the sense of um trying to just keep keep hidden, stay inside, don't. Get, go out there, it's just too dangerous, but you adventure, it's, I mean, it's just a child, so he doesn't know, he's too scared, but obviously you get to a point where your, um, your hunger is going to force you to take a risk, because if you do stay, then you're going to die anyway, so you might as well risk it. Oh, do you guys make me hungry? All this food talk. Okay there, bro. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? Random bro. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. Nope. Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? It was a man. get a good enough look. What is hey, it a man I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Probably. It seems a l it's rough. Bet. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not Can such he... a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house. I don't care what you said, Kenny. Oh my god. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Um... We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train, remember? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. 
So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? What? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear, while I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you mm. hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Yes, shoot so humans as well, Ben. You already failed to look after her once. Oh, this is not going to get... It's going to get worse before it gets better, isn't it? And let's be honest, I don't know if it's going to get better. It's probably not going to get better. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. No. Turn so enthused that came on. Bitch. That bastard's Trap fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Okay, someone's using uh, the church bells in the city to kind of... Uh, Move what the, the uh, walkers on? around. That's quite clever, actually. As long as you can access them safely and get out. I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Oh, shut up, Good Kenny. One. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Um... Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. What's not about giving up, Kenny? Oh, he's such a dick. I don't, I don't like him all. Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? This one might still be salvageable. How? Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Need coins for that, though. Bit of an idiot. Penny. I guess we gotta to stick together, but it's sensible to stick together, but seriously, Kenny, I'm And he's only gonna get more unhinged, isn't he? Like now he's lost his uh, family. For all the good it did. Abandon new stand. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. What the hell? 
hell are these markings? Hmm. They're all over the place. Interesting. What's all those, all those numbers mean? I don't know. I hear walkers wander around. I'm oh, looking over here. It's not any real benefit. Kill him, C Star. You just think I should just just murder him and then just tell everyone. Oh god. Oh jeez, what is this? And then just tell everyone. Oh yeah, Kenny died. Whoa, this is pretty intense. Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Wow, someone has killed a lot of uh, walkers and piled them up and also stuck some on spikes. Intense. Using walkers like scarecrows. Yeah. Oh, what sick bastard did this? If it works. Okay, I'm not going to shoot them. That's a waste of a bullet and I'm just going to make noise. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Indeed. Only slightly disturbing. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Okay. Well, thanks for you found a cash register over here, didn't we? Um. No. <laughs> it's worse things to have in your head, uh, friend of mine. Oh, well, I guess we'll ask Kenny. I don't know why he would have change on him. What's he even doing, Kenny? He's just staring you at him. got it. a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. I'll just wander around the street. Looking for coins on the on the floor. That's all Oh, we can't wrench it open, maybe. Ah, yeah, there we go. If we wrench open the coin box. Damn. Built solid. Curious markings again. It seems to be um. What do they mean? Yeah, it seems to be like the same code, but like the different, the numbers are different. Yeah. Okay. So that's A A J, and that's a different letter combination. Six A zero B. Six A zero B. So the second number is the same. And you've got a first number on the left, and then you've got another number on the right times. One and then you've got a number below. It's obviously it's some relevance to that code, but unless it's whoever the, these people are who've set this up, have um maybe these are like uh looter symbols, so they're just like that. We've already checked this house, kind of thing. I don't know. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, here we go. Looks like it's still intact. Locked. Hey. Let's imagine this boat is in working order. How how does he plan to push it into the water and get on it? It's like half submerged. I don't know. Uh, look at the state of it. Jesus. Uh, no, Kenny. No. If we're getting a boat, it's it's not that one, is it, bro? Um.
All right, let's have a look. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. No. The pole's cracked beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. Okay. You can't fix it? No. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. No sign of any boats down there. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Plenty of docks, no boats. Yeah, surely everyone who thought to get a boat, they're, they're long gone. You think about it realistically. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Oh, hello. What the hell? Oh, wow, someone's got some climbing skills. Get down! Get down! Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Hmm. Maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Why? Why? That makes us the bad guys. I just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're going to talk. No, why be sneaky? I'm sure it's better to just be, say hello. And Kenny can get cover us. If it needs to be. Um. What the? Wow, what the? Yeah, indeed. Oh, wow. Okay, we're dead. Never mind. <laughs> I'll be quicker than that. And where's Kenny? What's Clem doing? Clem? Please don't hurt him. Where the hell are you, Kenny? He's such a dickhead. You're not from Crawford. No, we're not. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Now he comes out. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! Uh. No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Who the hell are you? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. All right, Molly. Molly, I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? Even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. Okay. Orford. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yes. 
When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Okay. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting it. It's not everybody. I try to avoid them. Okay. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Oh. Not anymore. Okay. Um. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah. That would be me. I knew it. Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that's pretty smart, with the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Um... Finn, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. No, don't be, don't be mean to her, Lee. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. Yeah. That's debatable. Uh, not, uh -huh. not really. <laughs> not really, Lee. Um. What do you mean, no children? I mean, why not? Because they can't pull their weight, no I guess. Children. No elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. <clears throat> Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Um. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, kids? I mean, kill the no, kids, sir. the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. It's kind of like killing them. Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, Every. those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before. Great. Just great. Time to move. Isn't that the, the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... gonna let her go hey you yeah, can't just leave us here she doesn't owe us anything really? watch no please please don't leave us come on make it fast oh, fuck me come on come on hurry Come on! Come on, man. 
One good jump. Yeah, don't drop me like last time, Kenny. Oh, he's so useless. Dumpster. Climb up on there, Lee. Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. We're going underground. Ah, can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Okay, I have to catch up with you guys. Oh my god. I hope Molly will look after Clem. She seems like she will. It's not like we can rely on Kenny, is it? Oh, jeez. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oi, oi, oi. Shit. Okay. Underground we go. some kind of drainage pipe okay what's this way locked oh nice okay right okay that's just open up a shortcut for us not a shortcut, but I guess it would be. I guess the walkers could come in here. They'd have to throw themselves on the floor first. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do some of this. Let's see if that's done anything for us. Good thing I'm out here. Not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. Shit. Okay, so pop this one here, so this does. Okay, and maybe this will uh, draw them all over here. There we go. Oh, wait, is that Chuck? That's not Chuck they're feasting on there, is it? I think it might have been. Oh dear. Poor can Chuck. I sit here? Of course you can. Who's that? Uh, Elba. Elba Cole. Elba Coo? Oh, my eyesight's terrible. Uh, yes. Elba Coo. 
thank you for the uh, follow. I appreciate that. Well, come on in. My name's Disney. Call me is. Uh, you, uh, you're a fan of this game, I assume. Let's guess we'll wait here for a minute. Wait for the zombies to uh, move. I have uh, I've played it before, but it's been like several years. One of our producers asked us to uh, cover the series, so here we are. If you're familiar with the game, you know like what section we're at. That's Chuck, isn't it? Oh God, poor Chuck. Oh my God, Chuck. You must have tried to hide out down here. You got a gun there, though. No bullets. Mm. He must have saved the last one for himself. Bless him. You it's interesting that um, I was about to say was um. It's interesting that um, zombies, when they're obviously their instinct is to eat, consume flesh, but under certain circumstances, they will walk away from flesh to go to the noise. Because there they were munching on Chuck, and then they heard some noise and they got up and left him. So I wonder what, how they. I guess sound is the priority they go towards. I don't know. I don't know if the specifics of that has been explained. Um, uh, Elbuku, welcome in, my friend. If you've got any questions about anything, uh, let me uh, let me know. Don't hesitate. We, um, and we've got like about an hour left of today's stream, but I'm going to be right back on this tomorrow. We do start quite early. I don't know what time zone you're on. Uh, and we're probably doing the second and at least third, se at least second and maybe even third season before we do anything else. <laughs> Oh no, Lee. Oh no, Lee. Oh, not gotten. Okay, I didn't. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I just pressed the. I thought he was going to do a wiggle or a kick. I mean to do that. Oh no, I think it's too late for us. Yeah, I'm not met. I didn't mean to waste a bullet there. Okay, we're fine. Kind of. What was it doing there? I don't know, I'm trying to. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. I don't know. I don't really need to be prying these bars randomly. I didn't mean to shoot this. His hands are. Shit! It broke off. Oh oh. That door is fucked. I already tried that. It ain't gonna oh, budge. Dear. Okay, well these uh, these walkers are taking a second to get. Her. Um. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I've made sure. Um. We've got a ladder no here. I could pick that up on my own. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. Those bars are way too solid. They already tried that. Yeah, he did already try that. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. Hmm. You're hungry, they killed Chuck. <laughs> you made, not only did it make you angry, it made you hungry as well. Okay, well. Yeah, Chuck seemed like a good guy and he sacrificed himself to save us. Good on you, Chuck. Respect, buddy. Um. I didn't see that going this way is going to help us, is it? No. I'm supposed to go out of that uh, alive. It's just a sign. Yeah. Aha! There we go. That's that's a sign there. Ah. Uh. Oh! What the hell! A secret passage. Very curious. Um, my God, I'm hungry. Wonder if someone's living down here. 
I'm gonna get much sleep with that noise next door. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. How, how many people for how many months, Lee? I don't think I think he's overestimating how much is there. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, it's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there, no, we not. find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? No. They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around mm. here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? At least as bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. We're not from hey, Crawford. Vernon, what do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. Uh, I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded wow. out five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down it's here. It's a bit extreme. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah, irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Nah, the door's breaking. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just going to let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not going to be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back be Sorry, just pause a second. It's kind of ironic. I mean, it's not good, nice that Crawford, they're very, like, they're obviously like, fundamentalists. They're like, everybody must pull their weight. No sick people allowed. Okay, cool. Oh, you used to be sick. You had, you used to have cancer. I don't have it anymore. That's not good enough. Get out of here, scum. Uh, very hard line. Too hard line, in my opinion. Far too hard line. However... It turns out two of them, are, at least two of their group, are actually still sick. So it's like, it's all very well and good, Vernon, if you're like, oh yeah, they kicked us out because we used to have cancer. 
Yeah, they got rid of all the sick, the, the sick and the weak. Which is, which is us. <laughs> you know, seven. Hey, doing seven. That's the super gross game going. It's, it's very super and very gross. So you've, uh, yeah, it's ironic. It is C star. It's ironic. Uh, but how you doing seven? Are you well? Um, before you know it, let's go. Okay, he's going to show us the way out. They say so these guys are rejects from Crawford and they've just been hiding out here. Clementine? Clear? Oh, there we go, that was easy. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Yes, where's Clem? Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? No. Uh, how charming. Um. Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back. Okay, I didn't mean to avoid your question. But... You're welcome, by the way. Okay, cool. Thank you. I think you have something that belongs to me. I do. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't trying to avoid a question. I was just I feel like who who is this guy Please, is less important than where is Clem? Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Let's have a look. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh thank God. Could you take a look at him? Yeah, I'm you not asking you to do anything. Us. No, he doesn't. Please. Yeah, please. There you go. There you go, Crystal. Just have a look, Vernon. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Take me to him. Yeah, there we go. You're okay enough, I7. Okay, that's okay enough, I guess. If you're okay enough, then it's okay enough. But is it? Is it enough, though? Is it? Is it enough? That's the question. Oh, me, honey. <clears throat> you're going to be all right. Lee brought a doctor. No, no, absolutely. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? No, she went hiding under there. She wandered off somewhere. Clem, you in here? No, she's not in the. She's not hiding in the cupboard, Lee. What are you... <laughs> okay, she's been in here. You're working on a little drawing. Clem's drawings. But where is she? Clementine, you here? Clem? Ain't got time for that. <laughs> Hello? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's oh, Clementine? I mean, no longer Don't the rest of us. Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay. Jeez, calm yourself, Molly. I don't 
on top. I've got about 40 minutes. Clipper oh, time? Shit. You up there? No. Shit. He's not there. Where could she be? I'm gonna sit downstairs. That's where uh, Molly Clem? saw last. Clementine? Oh no, that's where the Omid is. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't I wasn't mean to. Clementine! Come out! Please! I mean Kenny? Oh hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get drunk. the bottle? It's in the side. What's Found it? it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Wow, good attitude, Molly Kenny. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. And so let's leave no Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Wow. Why are you looking at me, Ben? Okay, you thought no, okay. Okay, we'll climb out here then. Doesn't look like she's in here. Yo, Ben, where's Clem? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. The hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to Yeah, then she came back. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own. With no one went watching her? Went out to play Man, in, in the, the zombie backyard. Back, she's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Oh. What the hell happened back here? Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. You know what? I don't think she's here. Oh, she didn't. She, oh, she she's in the she's in there, is she? Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Right, so unless there's zombies in there. I'm trying to get out. Uh, hello there, uh, Omega Co. How you doing? Oh, come in. Oh, she's there. Thank God for that. She just got herself stuck in there. Thank, thank God. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Oh, a speedboat. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, the issue is you're only going to get like, uh. Whoa. I know, right? You're not going to get like 20 people on that. And how many's in our group now? Now you're too drunk for this, Kenny. Don't, don't, don't act all happy now. Yeah. Piss me off, Kenny. Um. Yeah, no, Sea Star. Don't tell me about it. Yeah, if anything happens to Clem, we'll, uh, we'll kill Ben. It'll be all, it'll be Ben's fault. Um, no, she's fine. He's fine.
Yeah, like, so you've got a, a, a fresh, pristine working boat, presumably. Maybe it needs fuel. It needs like, one over to make sure it's working. One, how do we get to the water? Two, we're not going to fit everybody on it. Old Mead's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Not oh. A fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? I think we should take Molly with us anyway. She seems more capable than well, everyone else put together. <laughs> you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, the bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Okay. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Um, um... We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well... What about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. I think they're psychopaths, though. Now, hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Uh, Trust me. We defer to Vernon and Molly on this. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms, either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't um, exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? Steal it? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. Oh we my come god. Up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're going to need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. Yeah. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just got to push a little bit farther. Are you in? Or out. We should go tonight. Make your mind up, Ben. Dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Yeah, no worries, Seven. Yeah, if you don't want to see people dying, this is the wrong game to watch. People are dying every other minute. Is it going to be dangerous? Yes. It's what going to be dangerous? Everything. Existence. <laughs> Crawford. Um, yes. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. And get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Um. Neither do I, Clem, but... Sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? 
You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? No. Um. I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, sweet pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Ah. Oh. Feels. Can't I come with you? It might be safer if she comes with us, honestly. We've got the creepy guy creeping okay. around. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Someone's gonna kick off about that, obviously. Just uh, the way things are just splitting up is never. I know it's like a mission, but life is a mission now forever. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Okay. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. Yes. So? So we're going to have a capacity problem. Yeah. A boat that size ain't going to hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Polly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive... That's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, <sighs> we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. She wants to seize the lady who wanted to murder me. Um. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Kenny's got a point, but it's like... It's terrible to think about. It's a problem for the future. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. She can carry stuff. Um, okay, cool. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> so, uh, Lee took that off him. He's like, oh, thank you, Ray. Ben's like trying to be... Hey, I guess I'm really Lee. Shut up, Ben. Um, this should be it. We're right underneath the center of. No, uh, that lady there, uh, Bree. When we, when uh, Sea Star, when we were in the sewers and we stumbled on Vernon's group, she was like, "Kill that guy!" And Vernon's like, uh, "I don't know." She's like, "No, just kill him." He's probably from Crawford. No, I'm not from Crawford. Kill him anyway. And now she's turning up like, "Oh yeah, no, I'll help you guys out." <laughs> so fuck off, Bree. <laughs> uh, uh, Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? I try to. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Have a little peek. Let's go. All right, nobody around. I guess because if they feel they've got it sealed off and they've just overlooked the fact of the sewers. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one. 
over there by the door. Okay. Indeed. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. All right, now we're just murdering. We'll be murdering murderers, but... So be it, I guess. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Okay. He's a zombie. Oh, he's got in the jaw there. Oh, wait, it's Crawford fallen to the zombies. Oh, they're infected. They're actually what the easier fuck for us. What the Walker doing inside here? Yeah, Crawford is fast. not Crawford anymore. She's a zombie, zombie fest. Okay, that's actually easier. So you're not going to deal with, you know, arguably hostile people are way more dangerous than uh, than walkers. Not that they're not dangerous. Of course they are, but. Okay. So we'll just stop running around. We don't need to, we don't need to rush now. Do we? That's a thing. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Definitely. Yeah. Scared what Clem a little. She should be scared. Here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Shut up, Ben. No, this is good. Yeah, it's yes, exactly, Vernon. This is better for us. Um, Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. And we haven't so got a rush either. Don't let them box us in. We can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed. Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count, or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. Oi, oi, oi. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about you, Ben. The one when we need to rely on you, you're just gonna let us down again. Bree's not cared about caring about us survival hair, is she? What should get grabbed by moving. the hair? Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Well, you might want to. <laughs> you want to put Pike head in firstly. Open the door for two seconds and nothing happens, so it's fine. Everybody in. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I got about twenty-five minutes. Or 20 minutes maybe to wrap up we might just have enough time to finish this episode maybe figures and they've got an armory that's locked it's not a terrible idea to uh like use a school room as some kind of command center yeah use the school as um as a base of operations, okay, there's plenty so of space. Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? She used to be... She used to be in this group. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Where can we find some fuel for... Motor pool? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. 
It's right next door. Yeah, definitely would have a boat yep, battery. Home, Unless it uses some kind of a, 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 okay. a, a speedboat, uses a similar battery as a car. For the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. There's no rush, they though. It makes more here. sense if they all stick Good together. Luck. That's the front. That's a weird thing. I don't know why they're splitting up because they're in a hurry. There's no hurry now because there's no human enemies. It doesn't make this this. I don't know. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? Yeah, Ben's a dick. You're I know. Leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving uh... you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> you the boss, Claire. Not you that go. idiot. Now, twice, Ben, you have failed to look after uh, Clem. Third time lucky, bro. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Yeah, and you better. Um. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Does he want encouragement there? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. Okay. He's a good guy, you know? And it's giving me up knowing what I know. What do you know? I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? Oh, right. It's telling the truth about, yeah. Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to mm. just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Very well. Yeah. I agree. I think you should tell There's him. There's a time and a place, though. Just not now. Yeah. Not you don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. Yeah, they weren't directly your fault. Ben, listen. Ben. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's going to lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm going to get back to this. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. No doubt. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? <sighs> no. I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're no, right. No, it's ridiculous, Kuma. I can't believe it. I don't understand. There's no need to... They've split up to try and do things quickly. But they don't need to do things quickly. In fact, in this kid situation, you'd be better off not doing things quickly. In fact, you'd be better off slowly, as a group, steadily taking your time, clearing out all the walkers in the school, and and screw the boat. This is your new base. Now, they cocked up and let the walkers in, but it doesn't mean that... You know, if you were careful about it, you could... As a, as a coordinated group, you could clear out a whole city of walkers and secure the area, but... I don't know, but obviously that's not going to tie in with the, uh, the, <laughs> the storyline. They want it to be, a, like, stuff to go down, don't they? 
and that's not going to happen being sensible. Um, should I have looked at the map there? Let's see which way I need to go. Yeah, I guess there's no... Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Yeah, are you gonna hush, Molly? Don't be speaking that loud, Leo. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, especially if you use the bells, Akuma. Yeah, you could you could do it easily. Not easily. It take a lot of work and effort and coordination. But why why rush? Why rush? You have to rush when you're fighting humans. You have to take your time when you're dealing with walkers. Mommy, unless they box you in and you then, here? then you have to rush, but so much for teamwork. Guess I'm not going that way. Or that way. What's that they've written there? Auto shop must be down this way. I'll read that, it's too dark. Looters will be shot on sight. Oh, Molly. What's she doing? Why is she, why is she just run off ahead and doing parkouring everywhere and not why are, you, why are you suddenly acting sus, Molly? Don't be doing that, yo. Okay, well... It's not there, obviously. Oh, we ain't going over there. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Indeed. I don't know. Okay. I'm going back this way. Oi, Molly! What are you, what are you doing? I don't know. Have, have I missed something? Do I find another way around? Oh, okay. Maybe not. He's not going back up the steps. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's like, yo, out here. It's out here. Are you coming? We get out here and she's nowhere to be seen. We start walking down there and then she just like runs along here and jumps over that fence. You're like, are you... How, how, uh... How, how serious are you being, Molly? What's, what's going on? Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Indeed. Unless I missed something in this little uh, shed here. Uh -huh. Climbing up there. Oh, that's another good idea. How about we just go the same way Molly went? Oh, oh she ran off without us. Why are you doing that, Molly? Unless they're kind of like, it's not just Kenny that's considered the fact that, you know, he's like, we'll get five people on this boat max. And obviously there's like, I mean, I don't, I don't know if like, what is Vernon and his whole group wanting to come along? Oh, let's if put Vernon and Bree to one side. They just were here for the meds. So that's Clem, Lee, Kenny, Krista, Omid. Ben and Molly. That's that's seven people, and he's saying five max. So maybe Molly has tweaked on that, and she's like, mm, maybe I don't need to really actually help Lee because, uh, you know, we know I know that at least two of people have gone. I've got to die. Okay, we've got walkers over there. 
Better not get too close. No, better not. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's open this up. Damn. It's jammed tight. Well, um must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Oh, okay. It's raining Leave walkers. Him. He's mine. Oh, okay. Where the hell have you been? Okay. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? I think you got him. One more. <sighs> For luck. He's okay. wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, oh right. yeah, that'll just, work. Just pull that out of a pocket. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you made a little bit too much noise there, Molly. Fence fell like that. There's a bunch of stuff in front of it. I don't know. Never mind. Oh, that zombie. She was beaten up. It's not actually dead. She, yeah, she didn't spike it in the head, did she? She was beaten up. That was a bit weird. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay. Alright, okay, we've got. Blinky. Must be an anti-theft system. Oh dear. Good okay. chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Let's bring this car down. No power. Let's not bring the car down. <laughs> Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. I don't, is that how it is? It they use the same kind of batteries. I think I've no idea. Um. Well, I can see where the battery should be. Okay. But it's not. Perfect. No, let's just get in the office briefly. It's, it's locked. locked. Okay. No way in. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. I don't want to touch the car though, just because it's going to set off the alarm, isn't it? Maybe. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Okay. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, 
It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. And you Look, didn't make you sure, did you? want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. Mm. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Okay, we can't actually get him by. Round the back. No, okay. Uh, the only thing I've not clicked on is the car. Let's give it a go. I can't reach it up there. Oh, okay. We don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. No, we only use the hose. Maybe we can borrow uh, borrow uh, Molly's uh, pick. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. <laughs> Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. No. <laughs> okay, so we're using that to cut this hose. I don't know. But she's going to drop the car, surely. Right. So there'll be no pressure. Yeah, there we go. I did it. But if it drops, whoa, whoa. Of That's course. probably not good. No shit. <laughs> totally just the best. So that zombie was like, oh, Hurry. under here, There's guys. <laughs> Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Um. Yes. Let's uh unscrew them. It's off. There we go. Got that one off. Good job, Blake. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Yeah. Okay. We'll just. Uh, okay. Follow me. Stomp them as they come through. And kill them all one by one as they come through. There. Move your ass. Makes no sense. They got in there quick. Great. Now what? Skylight. It's shut. Shoot it out. Mm, guess what I have to. Wow, Molly can Molly can pull us up places. Kenny can't though. Molly, okay, so one out of one. Kenny, of zero out of two. Have you ever stop complaining? Come on. God damn it, Kenny. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Okay. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Uh. Oof. Two out of two. Done well, Molly. God, I can imagine if that was Kenny. <laughs> I've got you. I got you, Lee. You're like, you ain't got shit. Come man. on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See yeah. you back in class. Molly! That's fair. Damn it, what the hell is she what, doing? What is she doing? Oh. 
Oh. Little help here. There we go. We got it. Break the door with something. Like that hold. Damn well better. For now. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. No. How you doing with that door? Not so good. No. What's he been doing with Maybe it? Give a hand. Just wiggling the handle for like Get half an hour. battery yet? <laughs> yeah. Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Or what? You okay, Clinton? Mr. Knight? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. You done that, fellas? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She <laughs> saved your life, didn't you? Did she? I say go? Yeah. Girl. What has she done for me lately? What? She saved your life. Well, yeah, but you know that was that was that was more more than ten minutes ago. So obviously she's scum. Kenny, you're such a dickhead. Three. Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. Yeah, sorry for that. I almost killed you. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together kept us alive a good guy what do you think about this whole crawford situation i'd rather not talk about it too many awful memories even being back here gives me a bad feeling even now with everyone dead i got no sympathy for what happened to these people they weeded out the sick and the old even children those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins whatever happened here however crawford fell i consider it poetic justice Damn, girl. That's that seems cool. fair. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. <laughs> I don't need to ask her about a can being a cancer survivor. I'll that's, be back. Got some things to do. Good it's luck. not really the time, the place, is it? And it, that's already been established. So, right. So I guess we're um. Let's have a look at the map. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine right. might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Okay. And if we're going to find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Okay, so I guess that's where we're going to head, isn't it? Try and catch up with Vern. And then he went with Crystal, I assume. We want to uh, sort ourselves out. Showcasing for. Fired. They're worthless. 
Yeah, I think I was even sort of look at this. <laughs> Oh, okay, they're trapped in there. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh, we're really going to start shooting them? Sounds like a terrible idea. Well, good idea if we've got loads of ammo which assuming we do we don't seem to have a limit to how much ammo we have so what the hell happened they wandered into the hallway after we got inside i think they must have heard us rooting around in here the whole place is infested they're everywhere calm down i took care of them what about the mids did we find what we need yeah that's our other problem take a look Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Um. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. All right, we're at the end of the stream, but um, I sh I assume this would have given us an auto save right here. So let's um, let's leave it here. I'm just, I don't notice the auto saves popping up, but. Yeah, we've got um, a second. There we go. Uh, yeah, we got a uh, we did a lot, got a lot of progress. So we uh we we finished episode two. Did all of episode three, and I feel we're quite close to the end of episode four. So that's like two whole episodes, basically. Uh, yeah, I mean, in gameplay terms, it's not survival horror. It's not keeping track of our ammo, you know. It's, you know, uh, it'd be interesting to see a like maybe like a survival horror Walking Dead game. I know there's been many similar games, like Zombie Survival, many, many. I'm sure some of them are good, some of them maybe not so good. But, uh, yeah, they don't act like, you know, they've had issues with food and supplies, like medicine, transportation, shelter, always having to run around, dealing with crazy people. But it seems like ammunition has never been an issue <laughs> at all. It seems strange. It's just like a noise issue, but not like a quantity issue. And I don't know why. Um, never mind. Uh, but yeah, we're we're close to the end of the uh, next chapter, which I, um, like I said, I don't know if there's five or six chapters, episodes, chapter, episode, kind of same thing. But um, it's uh. It's going well so far. No, thank you. Uh, thank you for being here, Akuma. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you uh, for everyone for being here. Uh, special uh, thank you should go to Poots, Cootie, 400 Bitties, and uh, Elbacu. Elb El -back -back I'm not sure on the exact pronunciation for the follow. And also Scotty, EBC2021 there for, uh, for being over 9,000. Thank you, Sky. Let me get your uh, flex on over. So yeah, that was a good Wednesday. Good fun stream. I enjoyed it. Uh, one thing I say about these games, they're very, very engaging. Uh, I'm not, it, you know, you, you get you become very absorbed in the story. Even though, as I say, I've uh, I've done them 
but I've, I have played them before, some of them. And I'm pretty sure I've played the season one at least twice. Oh, thank you, Scotty. There we go. 28th flex there, so. You're, um... You are up there in the mix. So the mix is, uh... So the top of the mix is uh, Mike, Squidge, G-Ray, and uh, Slick Mick. Those four are sat on the top, kind of... You know, there is um, a gap of six between, you know, those four. But um, they're all right up there. And the second bracket seems to be between Scotty, Affleen, and Red Mage. They're, uh, they're all within one flex of each other. And they are like eight behind Slick Mick, but that's kind of like the, the second grouping. Uh, and the uh, the third grouping seems to be like Coptimus, uh, the Gaming Avengers, and Jess. And then the, after that, you've got like all sorts of groups. Um, yeah, you enjoying it, Root? Yeah, I mean, it, even if you uh, you know the story yourself. They're still fun to do play on your own after the fact, I would say. Um, just because you, you know, you rather because most of the choices in the game are, as you, as you notice, they're dialogue choices and you don't get long to answer. And if you don't to choose one, you just choose silence, which is also a valid option in some cases. I, I used to think it's better to say something than say nothing. Um, so you might get different responses because you might choose to say something different than I, than I would you know and I would defer to you guys and let you guys choose in a way but there's not enough time uh, but yeah I'm glad you're enjoying it uh I'm glad you're not too uh too freaked out with because it you know it's quite violent it is brutal I know like squidge um and also seven seemingly a little bit like yeah this is a bit too much for our uh, tastes and oh, that's fine, but you know, I I am a man and gamer and human of the world and the universe. Um, I am intrigued by everything. I'm not put off by gore and horror and awful, awful situations that humans are put into. Um, but I'm also not like obsessed with it. It's you know, I, I am interested in everything. Um there's nothing that put is put you know, puts me off microtransactions season passes uh loot boxes pay to win mechanics gambling mechanics that 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 that, that puts me off but uh actual uh characters and storylines that's my the thing i'm most interested in um yeah it's yeah it's not the zombies route the zombies that you said oh it's a zombie it's gonna try you know what it's gonna do it's gonna try and eat you and you know how to kill it and you know how to stay away from them yeah, they're definitely a threat. You definitely want to not have anything to do with them. Keep away from them. But you're right. It is a situation like that brings out the best and the worst in people. And it's just... Uh, it's a sorry state of affairs that... <sighs> there's more... There seems to be more darkness in, in humanity than... More, more fear and more selfishness than... Than, than goodness and you know that, that is the interesting thing. that's that's why the story's so good um yeah it's nice to watch excellent excellent i'm glad you're enjoying it really and i appreciate it being here um yeah okay cool let me find someone for us to raid it's what yeah okay I'm, i think i keep like thinking is it wednesday is it thursday i don't know oh damn that nice I'm going to boost him up there a little bit. Um, put the other people around. Oh, wait. It's, okay, there's lots of cool people around. I might just... Um, I might just boost up uh, Lupo. He's got quite a lot of viewers, so give him an extra viewers. Certainly, you know give him an extra little boost it's not certainly not going to hurt is it um there's plenty of other awesome people <laughs> i do find it curious i see i see people who i follow and they change their name like once every three or four months and it's like 
uh, which is fine if that's what you want to do. And if you like, need to rebrand, well, I think you're better to just have a name and stick with it. So, uh, um, it's Monday. Yeah, no, and thankfully it's not. Scott, it might be for you. Uh, yeah, one Monday a week is more than enough. Should you should in fact we should just get rid of Mondays. Um. Yeah, so, yeah, because we, uh, we raided the Game of Avengers on Monday, and we raided uh, Lee yesterday. Let's raid... There's plenty of cool people around. I won't name them all. They're all decent choices. But let's raid Lupo. Now, you know... You might not know Lupo. Uh, he's a good guy. Um, he's, uh, he's playing... He's playing Super Animal Royale. Not something I necessarily have a, uh, particular interest in, but he's a, he's a good young man. He's, um... And he stopped in here loads of times and kind of dropped raids on uh, on us. And uh, he's just a cool guy to hang out with. Um, uh, he's a VTuber. He's recently upgraded to being a VTuber. He was on cam. Then he wasn't. Then he was a VTuber. Uh, but he, he feels he puts on a better show. And that's what matters. Uh, he's kind of got quite a lot of viewers. So if I can do something to boost him up. Uh, I've done it to Mr. Wrong before. Like usually my philosophy is like try and if you've got equal people you want to raid raid whoever has the least amount of viewers to like make their day to give them a little uh emotional uh mental boost um but for lupo he might be able to like knock on the door of partners soon so if i if i could just chuck him a few viewers over there boost his numbers up just for even like a few minutes that might help him out so let's go um let's go raid lupo um so yeah, uh, Super Animal Royale is um, it's kind of it's kind of like a uh, uh, look at that spelled right. I need to put in raid as well. Is <laughs> yeah, so we go. Um, it's like a, a battle royale, but it's like cutesy and strange and uh, a little bit weird nightmare how you doing nightmare i hope you're well we are just uh you've caught us at the end we are garuda as well garuda the man the myth the legend we are literally raiding out right now folks but <laughs> thank you so much for both stopping in um we uh we had an excellent stream playing the walking dead we will be back tomorrow same time as always thursday and we will uh undoubtedly complete get to the finale of the first season and if we have time we'll immediately start season two we shall see how it goes but i hope you're both well gentlemen um if anybody yeah until then let's go see lupo if anybody uh needs me uh between now and tomorrow you can just message me on discord and i will get back to you as soon as i possibly can uh until then um let's go i hope you all have a good evening and afternoon and the rest of your days folks it's been a pleasure